Hey everybody, we back! It's been a while. <laughs> Boo Bear, can you move over that way? We gotta center ourselves in the frame a bit. That way. That way. It's blurring out my hair. Well, put your hair down. No. No? Hey everybody! So some people thought we broke up because she disappeared. <laughs> there was some 4chan talk about like, oh, she's gone. He, he removed that one emote from the, that one, like, emote I that you did i removed this on i removed it from the twitch so that i had more room for like valve newsy kind of things like a pink cookie and stuff and so people were like well he removed the emote nice. i didn't know this you didn't wow tell is me that this. the real electro from the hit series this is the real electro from the hit series spider-man thank you very much andy films for the seven month subscription and let's also thank the last uh we got not drum ac with the three months nice. thank you very oh my what is all that god that is 40 tier one gift subs nice. from the Reno. Um, 40 tier one gift subs is like, oh my God, that's that's like a hundred dollars. Nice. Jesus Christ, Reno. Way to start Christmas, I guess. Thank you very much for that. Nice. Um, anyways, yeah, we're not broken up. Um, <laughs> she's just been busy with school um, nice. and like, you're, that's two hundred dollars. Jesus Christ! Thank you very much, Reno. Uh, we do have. Oh wait, somebody just donated a hundred dollars, but it's not, it it has to catch up to it. Did Reno also donate a hundred dollars? Why is this at a hundred dollars? Nice. All right, we're just gonna have to. Oh, Reno! I see it right there. The Reno just donated a hundred dollars. Merry Christmas. Merry I have a, a nice. donation goal for a new hard drive. So. Oh. <laughs> Do you, well, I mean, it, you love new hard drives, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. What's your favorite? What's your favorite thing about hard drives? Um. Mm. Can you hear her okay? By the way, let me know. Nice. Favorite thing about hard drives? I don't think they're that exciting. Same, but you need them. 
Yes. Yeah. yeah, they're 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 practical. Yeah. But they're not that exciting. Exactly. She's right. She's speaking the truth. Coolman with the highlighted message. Nice. Yep. Coolman, I, I heard Valve might be working on a new indie dev uh, named Cutma. Is this true? Uh yeah. Nice. It, you're I don't know where you heard that, but yeah, Cutman's real. Yeah, thank you. Um, even yeah. SSDs, yeah. So um I wish we nice. had food. Yeah, you wish you had food? I mean, I will excuse you to go get snacks if you want to go get what, snacks. What snacks? I don't know. Nice. We got veggie straws up there. No, I want, like... A kielbasa. You want a kielbasa. Nice. Pringles? We don't have any Pringles right now. Yeah, I wish we were doing a mukbang. Mukbang. Do they do DoorDash at 9 nice. p.m. Uh, Christmas Eve? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Electra and I are doing great. Nice. Um, I appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me over the years. Um, I appreciate Reno's support most importantly because it's mostly all the support I nice. got <laughs> just just now. Um, do you have anything to say to the Reno? Um, wait, is that the? Um... Reno is not the one that works at the grocery store. Nice. Reno is the one that has the industrial. No, like uh, the bionicle. That's that's Sir Perry. Oh. Yeah, Reno is the one with the industrial uh, insulation nice. company, and he has a lot of like extra income just to throw at people so industrial we, insulation yeah like, he does insulating for companies like buildings? yeah he owns oh. a company that does contract work for industrial insulation cool. yeah and so like when he donated nice. a bunch of money originally i was like reno you gotta chill with like i thank you but where's this coming from and he's like don't worry man i have a job like i have a company we're good nice. but then sir perry the one that paid you a hundred dollars to write about bionicles uh he works stocking shelves at a grocery store so i straight up told nice. him to just stop <laughs> is that making noise whenever yeah it says alex vance says nice every time it nice. pops up well thank you reno yeah your job sounds really cool is it cool yeah i mean i want to know what he thinks nice we're not really reading this. Um, no. Yeah, um, so I'd let Reno insulate me any day. Nice. Reno, no, not a cool job. <laughs> no, but like, what do you actually do? Like the pink stuff or like... The pink stuff. Nice. <laughs> That's what I think too. If you jump into it, you get really itchy. Also, it's 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 poison, you know. Yeah. You jumped into nice. in insulation. Yeah, if you, if you get into insulation, you like <laughs> jump into it. Your skin gets really itchy. Nice. <laughs> when did you... That's poison. That's very bad yeah. for you. <laughs> I used to um, do drywall nice. with my dad. It depends on what I need to insulate. Reno, why don't you educate us on the, the ins and outs of industrial insulation? So let's say, nice. like, we're Electra and I were to build, like, our dream house or something. We're not doing that. We're moving out of the country first. But let's say we want to in in insulate our nice. dream house. If you're in insulating a residential property, what kind of insulation material do you use? Nice. Is it pant time again? No, because we didn't really do presents this year. Um, I bought her a few things. <laughs> but That would be more exciting if we had gifts. Yeah, we didn't, it's 2020. Who gives a F, you know? Uh, we have a visitor. Nice. Is he going to be on camera? Yeah. You ace. Here's. Don't show your butt. <laughs> okay. Nice. Moved to Canada. Moved, we're moving to Australia or New Zealand. Because it has tiny fibers that give you nice. micro abrasions. It's literally slicing your skin. <laughs> <laughs> Residential things aren't my specialty, and it depends on nice. a bunch of different things. Well. Yeah, I was gonna say like I don't think that's the same as houses. So this this stream got off to a great start. What? We're talking about Merry there's Christmas, there's Cap the Reno Claus, donation. Cap Claus, Cap Claus. Hundred dollars. Thank you very much, Reno, for the hundred. So we're already a third of the way to my new nice. uh, Western Digital WD Christmas Black Tyler. PCIe two terabyte SSD that I want to get. Um, so thank you very much. You know New Zealand has horrible internet. Uh, Ohio has horrible internet. My internet's 50 down, 10 up, and I pay $60 a month for it. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> he doesn't like the lights, but he wants to hang goes, out. Yeah. What is what is New Zealand internet like? Holy fuck, Ohio internet is horrible. I hate it so much. Yeah. Tyler, if you have any questions about Australia and the different cities and places to move, let me know. We're a couple of years out from it, but I will keep that in mind. Thank you very much. That's a scam. Yeah, it is. What's a scam? Uh, our internet <laughs> connections and prices. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. <clears throat> I get the same internet as Tyler for $120. What the fuck? Where do you live? 
Zant Ganondorf, where do you live? Spectrum internet sucks. <laughs> yes, it does. I won't be taking a Spectrum spawn. I mean, unless they pay me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I mean, I'll take pretty much any sponsorship. I don't fucking care. New Zealand is 10 down, 1 up. Oh, that is shitty. That's You've what I grew up with. You've turned down a lot of sponsorships. Yeah. One was for condoms, I think. I didn't turn that one down. They disappeared. Oh. Okay. I, I asked for too much money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it pant time again? We're not doing we're not doing presents this year because 2020, you know. You should try Raid Shadow Legends. Whatever they offer, they pay really, really well. Like everybody memes on them, but they paid. If I told, like, I'm not gonna tell you because. If I go public with what I charge, they're gonna only ever pay me that. But, um, like, if you heard how, like, if they came to you, and they, Electra and I were on a walk recently, and she, when I was telling her about the people that were complaining about the sponsorships, and she's like, if, if they, ca if they went to you, what well, you, you, you said it better, you know what I mean? What? Like, if a sponsorship went, like the people that were complaining, if they were offered a sponsorship. They would fucking do it. They would take it. Like, are you kidding me? Tyler, you look lively right now. How has your diet been lately? Well, I had veggie. Oh. You do this. You do this. My brother's FaceTiming. No? Okay. I'm busy. Hey, Chris. Hey. Hey. Uh, question for you. Brandon is watching your stream. Uh huh. Is there any way that you can make the text to where it stands out? Because he says you never acknowledge him, and it makes him sad. If he just does at Tyler McVicker before he types it, it'll be highlighted on my end. Do you hear that, Brandon? Boone too good. There he is. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll VIP him so that uh, I know who he is. All right, that's it. All right, thanks, Chris. Love you. Have Merry Christmas. Yeah. All right. Oh, crap. Brandon, you're a VIP. Um, I he's watching the stream, and he said it's Chris, and I held it up, and I was like, and yeah, he, like, yeah, he saw he's it. He's watching. Yeah, he saw it. <laughs> What's up, Brandon? Yeah, so Brandon Boone Too Good is a good friend of Chris's and mine. Chris, uh, he was. Brandon, were you one grade below Chris, or were you in Chris's grade? No, you were in Kenny's grade, so you were one grade below Chris, and he came over to our house like after school he came over to our house all like every fucking day for a while it was him and then chris's other friend and i remember brandon is a very soft-spoken kid and we'd always ask brandon like do you want to play minecraft do you want to do a land party do you want to watch a movie he's like i'm cool whatever man and he would never tell us what he wanted to do but he always had something in mind because if we recommended something he didn't like he'd be like oh okay yeah okay but it, like we had to like figure him out What's up, dude? I heard you had a kid. How are you doing? Miss you. Whenever you're in town, let me know. Well, after COVID, but whenever you're in town, let me know. But yeah, he was more Chris's friend, but we played Minecraft and Hexen and Tekkit. Do you remember the racing game Blur? Played that a lot. Anyways, Boo Bear's here. So what's up? How's your day been? Um, what did I do today? What did you do today? We just laid in bed most of the today. Yeah. yeah, but it was fun. It was nice. Thanks for the info, man. Tyler, sorry for the misinformation. I didn't see what you said. Sorry. We're not really doing news. Like, Electra hates it when she's here and you ask me a <laughs> Valve question and then I just talk for 20 minutes. We're not doing that today. I know I a lot about Valve. Yeah, I know. You do. Okay, so Tyler's mama's here. This is actually mom, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Electra. You pretty. Hi, mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. I know 2020 fucking sucked, but we're getting through it. And they're going to have to ask questions because I don't remember any stories. Yeah, well, that's how it always works. That You have to be prompted. Well, yeah. like... When... You just, you just out of nowhere, you started the stream with... Yeah, I jumped into <laughs> insulated who drywall has, insulation. Who hasn't done that? You've never tried. No. I remember, like, you know how my, my house has an attic? My parents' mm -hmm. house had an attic? First time my dad took me up there, I asked what the pink stuff was, and he goes, it's poison. Don't hey. touch it. <laughs> and then I never touched it. But you're telling me you jumped in piles of it. Oh my gosh, you know what else I jumped in a pile of? What? You know that stuff... Okay, we, we grew up in a farm town. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, the houses were like... Middle of nowhere, they were like... It was just farmland. Of, yeah. Like, the houses were like mile, like a mile big apart. Ass, big ass fields, yeah. And um, 
there's like this fertilizer oh, pile no. and it kind of just looks like dirt like gray dirt yeah. almost and <laughs> oh, no. me and my friend not mulch fertilizer otherwise known as cow poop well I don't know. It was like chicken, maybe chicken. It was poop. It was animal feces. It was some kind of feces. Feces. Yeah. And me and my friend jumped and played in it. <laughs> when we came back, we smelled so bad. <laughs> and her dad was like, "What did you do?" Was this Jennifer? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're like, "Oh, we were playing on that big mountain, like that big, like, uh, like I don't know what we thought it was, like gravel. I don't know." Okay, Stealthy 2 is asking us to ban him. <laughs> there you go, banned you. And, um, so yeah, we learned that we were, he's like, you're, you were jumping in, uh, You're jumping in poop. Animal yeah. poop. Yeah. It did smell really bad. Why'd you play in it? What else the heck are we supposed to do? Dad! Merry Christmas. Yo, Shadowblade VR with the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Tyler, tell Xmas story. You gotta prompt us. You have to ask questions and then we'll tell stories. Ban me too? Nah, you're a six month subscriber. To move to New Zealand, you have to obtain a work visa, then get healthcare you need to hold that visa for two years. It's tough to get in there. I've wanted to move there for a while. It's a beautiful country. No, I want to move. At just anywhere. It doesn't have to be New Zealand. It's just right now because of COVID, that place looks great. Um. You know. What countries would you move to? By the way, can you hear her okay? I'm always worried she's too quiet. I would want to move to... Yeah, okay, cool. I don't know. I feel like the whole world sucks. Yeah. Like, part of me was like, oh, Japan. And then I remember, oh, Japan's incredibly racist to foreigners. I would go to Germany. Germany sounds good. Hey, Yeah. Stop I have it. a lot of friends from Germany, and they're all like, yeah, you're kind of... Piston minor, you know? Like, we talk all the time, and he's like one of my best friends. Shoutouts to Piston Miner if you're seeing this. And he always is like, he'll, I, I'll, like, he'll talk about how like, oh yeah, COVID just spiked. And then he doesn't really pay attention to what's going on in America. And I'll just like talk about it. <laughs> and he's like, oh my God. <laughs> like he lives in Berlin and he's like, oh, it sucks here. And then he'll talk to me and he'll be like, oh my God, I love it here. Someone says move to Russia. Never. Nah. I would never move to Russia. Just but Russia is just like. Look here. at your language. Like every yeah. time I see writing in <laughs> Russian, Christmas. I'm like, what is that? Thank you, Rakov, uh, for the tier one thirty. This person has been subscribed for thirty four months. Oh my, my god! I'm not even that old. She's not even that old. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Norway might be nice. Yeah, Norway would be nice, wouldn't it? Shoutouts to Anger. Um, yeah. We've I talked to so. Anger a lot about Norway. And she likes Norway, but she's described Norway as like living on easy mode. <laughs> Do you remember what she said? I don't know what that says, Andy Films. No, I was saying like I would never move to Russia because look at their writing. That's the problem you have with Russia? <laughs> I would not learn that language. Okay, but you would learn German. <laughs> it's just too hard. <laughs> but you would learn German. Yeah. Australia seems super simple. England, but not England. How do I donate? Exclamation point, donate in the chat. But Brandon, I will not take your money. Buy your baby a, a Christmas present or something. Don't, don't give me money. I will refund the money. Yeah, I feel like it would have to be a language with our alphabet because I don't yeah. learn fast. Like So Board like Stalker says, as someone who's learned German, it's one of the closest languages to English. I've spent time to learn. Why not Canada? Of course. Like, yeah, why not Canada? Oh, yeah, that is very much an option. Yeah. And it's easy, f easier. Very. For... It's significant because like, it's just, you could drive. Well, I mean, like, getting citizenship there for an American is easier than, yeah. like, other people getting yeah. citizenship Especially there. now. They made it easier because they knew, like, people would be getting the fuck out of here. It's so weird how, like, the border between America and Canada, we made up. But it's so much better COVID-wise up there than it is down here. Oh, yeah, you can get dual Canadian citizenship. You can get dual citizenship for Canada. So we'd be able to go back and forth as much as we want. But I don't want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> True. 
Yeah, free health care in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have dual citizenship and you get sick, it's just like, okay, let's take a drive. <laughs> have you and Electra been to any concerts? Many, but we haven't gone to any. Like, obviously, we haven't gone to a concert <laughs> in I can't a while. Go, I can't even go to concerts. Oh, yeah. And also, she has epilepsy, and concerts are pretty much out of the question. But yeah, I, she's been to way more concerts than I have, but I've been to Motion City Soundtrack and a bunch of Beatles cover bands, and that's it. <laughs> what concerts have you been? Um, Bon Jovi. <laughs> I forgot about that. I wanted to go to that. I went to a Bon Jovi yeah, concert. Yeah, Bon Jovi. That's and right. And he marched around the stage. You were very attracted to I him after that. I liked the marching more than the music, honestly. Bon Jovi. <laughs> um, I've seen Mayday Parade. Nice. Mm. Philly Zero with the Tier 1. Thank you very much. Mayday Parade. How many times have you seen Mayday Parade? I don't know. All of them are blurring together. More or less I've, than three. I've seen Sleeping with Sirens. Twice. Yeah. And, um... Secondhand Serenade, you've seen. No, I haven't. What's, What's the other one? I don't know. Sleeping seen... with Sirens, the one, the other one. <laughs> like, they're always I, closely related. Yeah, I don't know. It's Pierce just, the Veil. Pierce the Veil. Yeah. They all kind of blur together. I've seen All Time Low. You've seen All Time Low? Yeah. When was that? When I saw Mayday Parade, they were there. Oh. I've never been to a warp tour. This is just all separate times. Oh my god, Chris is here. Tyler, how does it feel to be a man who can't get a Stadia sponsorship? I don't want a Stadia sponsorship. I'm gonna I'm gonna VIP Chris so we can see him. His name is Christian McVicker69. Press three if you remember me when I streamed with Chris that one time playing Half-Life Alex. But Tyler, it's all in one. It takes up no space. Wait, I'm confused, because if you... A dual citizenship, does that, like... I thought, like, if you're born in America, you're always a citizen. For the rest of your life. I don't actually know how it works. Like, so wouldn't you always be a citizen? Nice. I don't know. Poggies. But not... Poggies. Xenox YouTube with the three-month Prime. Thank you very much. Remember, Prime subs are free. Does Electra have a TF2 leak? Yeah, leak them some TF2 information. Mm. They're just all gonna yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> the TF2 crowd is fucking awful. Yeah. Is it okay if I send a friend request? Yeah, go ahead. If you go to a certain country, it removes your US citizenship. You lose it? How does that even make sense? I don't know. Because they're always all like, you know, if you're born here. Look at this. Electra said my cats were cute once. Who? Um, Cruise Games. Oh, I know Cruise Games. You go back? You got a history with him? <laughs> cute cats. Yeah, he's got a cute cat, yeah. Yeah. I hope you're doing good. I am doing good. Thank you. Thank you for watching. My wife will lose her Chinese citizenship by becoming an Aussie citizen. Is, is that something that your wife is okay with? Like, what is that like for a person? I have not listened through all of the latest Blink Banshee album, no. Electra, have you watched Taskmaster? No. That's one thing we can talk about, because anime. Oh god. So we're gonna lose like half the viewers, we're at 252 right now, we're actually doing... In nine, uh, 960p is actually a pretty good optimization trick for Twitch, for those that are wondering why we're not full 1080. It saves a significant amount of bandwidth, you'd be surprised, and it's not that much of a quality deduction. It's like a hack, almost. Hmm. 960p stutters? Uh, I'm not, it's projecting over here, I don't see any stutters. Let's go anime, let's weeb out, let's do it. Let's talk anime, I never get to talk anime. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. What do you... Okay, I have a question. Has anyone ever seen The Time I Got Reincarnated by a sl as a Slime? Press 5 if you've seen That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. No, be everyone's just gonna do it even No, no, it. they don't. Nice. They, they listen. Five. We got a 1-5. Okay. Reno, Reno has seen it. 
Crispy Steak has seen it. Is it still worth getting a VR headset? Yes, that's a video. We're not talking about it today, but thank you very much for being here. Wait for another stream. Is it worth watching? Because I keep starting it because there's so much hype around it. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I get bored. I get so bored. And that's so rare to Well, get I mean, bored. if you're bored, like, you don't have... So this person's saying slime is amazing. So should I push through, like, how long does it take to, like, be good? Hmm. Like, Steins Gate takes 12 episodes to take off. How many episodes? It's boring. It's good. Like, there's so many animes, right? So if it's boring you, then just... No, but what is the hype? I want to know why. Oh. I need to know why. It's always, like, on the top of, like, the most popular. Do How many episodes mean? have you been through? Um, okay, so I started it, like, three different times. Is that the one where the guy gets hit by a car? No, he gets stabbed. Nice. He Tyler, gets... I love you. Why Boone, won't you take my money? Boon too good just subscribed. Why won't I take your money? Because you've got a kid. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what that's like. You've been subbed for five months? What? Stabbed by a car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's, that's the hype. <laughs> that's the hype. Hot take. If you aren't into a show within the first three episodes, it's fine to drop it. Agreed. I actually do at least I seven agree. episodes. Seven? At least seven episodes. Oh my god, you have so much time on your hands. And do you know what, though? What's that one that's like, it's like a mech anime, and the women are like the robots, and like oh, the Darling guy... Oh, Darling and the Franks. Oh, yeah. I watched seven episodes of that, and I was like, this is not for me. I don't... I'm, ugh. Darling and the Franks, everybody was hyping it up, and then when Funimation did their awards, Darling and the Franks won so many more over My Hero Academia... And it's then you were telling good. me it's nice. like blazed olds spot fixed flux flux yeah lkbn mdfk lbsdjk lfgs Thank you very much for the 11 months. I don't know what you made my guy say. <laughs> 500 viewers and me and Brian get naked on stream. <laughs> if you want to see my brother, if you want to see my brother's dick. Five, we got to get to 500 viewers. What's Alice in Borderland? Well, hold on, hold on. We gotta finish this this thought. So, what? slime, slime, slime. Yes. Yeah. Is it worth watching? Uh, well, you said that you usually give a show seven episodes. How many yeah. are you actually through? Okay, <laughs> I, the first time I started it, I got halfway through the episode, and I was like, <laughs> so I stopped. What and about it turned you off? It's a little ball of slime. <laughs> it's just like going around. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then I started it a second time, still only again got like three-fourths through the first episode. Now I'm on the third time, and I'm in sec halfway through the second episode, and I'm like, oh my god, he ate a dragon. Like, what? He ate it? What the fuck are you talking about? He ate a dragon? I don't know. <laughs> it's... What? I don't know. I'm trying to push through it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Um, I just finished, um, Demon Slayer. Oh, right, 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 right. Talk, talk about Demon Slayer, yeah. Demon Slayer, if you're gonna watch it, you have to, to read the manga after. Why? Because it only does the first 50 chapters, and there's 250 chapters. Did you finish the manga already? No. Oh, okay. Did you watch the movie? Three, two, one, game time. What animes have you seen? Did I watch the movie? No, I haven't watched the movie. You don't watch anime movies. Why? <laughs> like, even if they're canon, you don't watch them. I don't know. Like, like we binged all of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, but neither of us have actually seen one of the old Dragon Ball Z movies. We, we, we haven't seen any of the Inuyasha movies. <laughs> Whoa. There's four of them. They're canon. I feel like I've seen a part of one when I was younger. Why do you have no interest in that? Because I'd love to see that. I don't know. Okay. Does Electra watch Linus Tech Tips? Yes, and I'm confused. Well, kind of. I'm confused why sometimes he wears a suit. You slacky now. That was one video. <laughs> that was one video for a gag because they were doing a James oh. Bond thing. Yeah. The Josh Madden, you know, John Madden's here nine months. Thank you very much, Brad. How are you doing? Yeah, I watch his videos sometimes. And by that, she means when we're in bed and we're on our, like, tablets. I have an iPad, she has a phone. Whenever I'm in bed and I'm, like, checking up on my subscriptions, I watch, like, every Linus Vit channel. And she'll, like, 
hear it and be like, I hate his voice. I hate his voice. But then I watched like the whole video and I'm not sure why. I feel like you I- You don't care about that kind of stuff. Why do you watch it? I feel like I go into this like days and I just, you know. I love it. I love Linus. I've, I've, I've had the pleasure of emailing him and Yvette like twice. So, all right. So Slime, it doesn't seem like people are telling you that you need to- My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball, Full Metal Alchemist, Somali. I don't know what Somali is. Mob Psycho, One Punch Man. Season one. All the big ones I yeah, can get. I, I don't know what Somali is though. Slime is okay. People talk about it like it's amazing. Demon Slayer, yes, I just finished that. And oh my gosh, I watch so many animes that when someone asks like what animes do you watch? Oh this I looks cool. Somali in the forest spirit. The hell is is this? it an old one? No, it just came out. Like when? This year. Oh. Uh, I don't watch new animes. Yeah, you do. Balance Unlimited just air is airing now. I just mean like I wait until they're all out and dubbed and then I watch it. I don't watch it week to week because I just can't do that. If I don't need to do that. There's an English dub for it, too, on Crunchyroll. Is Dragon Ball any good? Yes, Dragon Ball's good and Dragon Ball Z is very good. Anything after that... Well, okay. ...has I, its moments, but overall... We haven't uh, seen the final... Um, we have not seen the final arc of Super, and I wanted to start that, but Electra's like, I'm done with Dragon Ball. <laughs> I'm done. I've been watching it since I was... Three? Three. This show looks really good. In a world in a world ruled by spirits, goblins, and all manner of strange creatures, human beings are persecuted to the point of extinction. One day, a golem and a lone girl meet. This is a record of a pair: one member of a ruined race, and the other watches a watchman of the forest. It tells of their travels together and the bond between father and daughter. But the golem can only live another year or so. He must find other or humans in order to get her with her own race before he dies. Wait, is the entire first season now, or yeah. what? Well, yeah, like completely I'll completely aired and dubbed. Like, oh, you, what you're saying is you don't like to watch it week to week. No, I will okay. not yeah. watch week to week because I can't do that. I'm not the kind of person that can do that. Not anymore. I want to watch Dragon Ball, but I want to watch it from the start. Do you have to start with the original Dragon Ball? The English dub is great. VHS. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna watch Dragon Ball, don't watch the dub. The Dragon Ball, like, like, have you? We've we've given the, the sub a chance a few times. I'm not very passionate about Dragon Ball anymore. You were. I used to love she it. She used to be. Yeah. But I'm like, wow, this is not good compared to a lot. <laughs> well, I mean, it was funny because we binged all of Attack on Titan, and that's what ruined us on things like Dragon Ball because we realized just how much more anime could be. Oh God. I mean, there's just so much yeah yeah kid goku is weird kid goku is better than adult goku fight me <laughs> kid goku was fun um the people are really hyping up this somali show it has an english dub it's out would you they watch said it vhs is making a comeback what okay listen to me right now <laughs> okay. okay like i watched vhs tapes when i was a kid right mm. Who didn't? Yeah, okay. Me too. Yeah. And like a couple years ago, I think I was with like a professor or so. I don't know. I was with someone, and we put in a VHS tape, and we both looked at each other. And we were like, "Oh my god, this looks terrible." How did we? Yeah. Because <laughs> we're so spoiled. So many pixels. Because like, we're it's, spoiled. It's so blurry. Yeah. Like, I don't remember it being that bad. Like. What's? Well, because it's all we had, and also like, I don't know. Is bad. The orange Nickelodeon VHS tapes are dope. Oh my god. I had so many Blue's Clues tapes that were all orange. Other than the Blue's Clues big musical tape, which was blue. Mom, you remember those? I don't know if Mom's still here, but Mom used to buy me Blue's Clues tapes like crazy. Thank you, Mom. What else have I watched? Also, yeah, when you watched it on those big box TVs, it, it did hide a lot of the, the imperfections, like, because it was designed to. The flat panels don't do that. 
Fruits Basket is one of the worst animes ever, but then why I... have you watched both the old one all the way and you're caught up with the new I one? I don't know why. It's like one of those things. It's like, oh my god, this is... I mean, there's good parts of everything, right? There's yeah. good parts of it. But it, it's so bad that it's good. Like, I can't stop watching it. Uh, I don't know. It's so depressing. It's so dramatic. Mm -hmm. But I can't stop watching it. Yeah, why why is that? I don't know. What is the thing that is it the is it the boys? No. Is it that there's a lot of cute anime boys? I only like one of the boys in it, so I mean I don't know. Mm. But So you have no idea. You had no idea why you're watching it. But it, the thing is I I finish a lot of animes that I don't really like. Yeah, you do that a lot. I'll be like, I don't really like this anime, but I'll watch every <laughs> I just episode. Want the noise. Yeah, Electra lives for anime. I remember a couple months ago, or maybe a year and a half ago at this point, she had the challenge of, I'm going to watch every anime other than the mech ones. How's that going? Still still treading? Still trekking? Um, what, oh, and I'm watching Fire Force right now. Uh, she watches a lot of them by herself, and then there's like one or two series that we'll watch together. We're watching Balance Unlimited together. Oron, I've seen that. I've seen Oron. That's a good-ass show. My favorite thing about that show is when... I don't even remember their names anymore. The blonde dude who's played by... Um, the, the pervert. <laughs> when his character goes and, like, kneels in the corner and, like, Anytime mopes. he's sad. I don't yeah. know. I just think that's so funny. Um, We're not going to talk about anime the whole time because, look, at our viewer count dropped a lot because of it. Oh, God. <laughs> Yasha Hime... We're watching Yashahime, yeah. Soul Eater. Soul Eater wasn't good. Soul Eater was very disappointing. Okay, the character design and the characters were good. The story mm -hmm. wasn't good. Like I loved the like they introduced the characters and the show started really really strong and then everything up until the defeat nice. of the main boss, Danny, Philly Zero with the five gift subs. Thank you very much. They kill the main boss, right? They do the thing. Nice. The arc is over and then they bring the main boss back and it's like Oh my like, god, I hate let people die. Let it, I know, oh. like not even okay. Animes, nice. like sh TV shows, whatever. Even in books, when yeah. if if you kill someone off, they're, they're dead. dead. Stop bringing them back. <laughs> like I swear to God, I hate that so much. It was funny when we got really into Dragon Ball. Like remember when we were living in my parents' basement? We got really, really into Dragon nice. Ball. We were so into it that you and I even changed our perception of death. Because no one died in Dragon Ball, and so it was like, oh, just get the dragon. Oh, wait. Well, like, That's not real. That even makes more sense, but I'm talking about when you really think someone's dead. Mom's here. Hi, Mom. Do you remember Blue's Clues tapes? Okay. Sorry. What? Mom finally came back. We're losing people. Quick. Review every kind of fruit. 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 I like all the fruits. You don't like every fruit. Bananas aren't that good. But bananas are one of my them. favorite fruits. I'll still eat them. Apples and bananas are the ones I can get. Yeah. Nice. Yo. Tyler, Digimon, Pokemon, or Yu-Gi-Oh? Digimon, Pokemon, or Yu-Gi-Oh? Pokemon for me. Phantom Unboxing, that's 25 months for you. Thank you very much. Remember, Prime is free. Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh? Pokemon, mm. Digimon, or Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, now that I'm an adult, none of them. But when I was little... <laughs> Same. When Same. I was little, I freaking loved Yu-Gi-Oh mm. so much. Yugi, Yugi. <laughs> I you had a crush on Yugi? Yeah, I watched the show. Uh, I loved his hair. I was like, how the heck did he get his hair like that? And I called him Yugi. <laughs> my Yugi. <laughs> Your Yugi? I had my decks. I would jump out in front of people and be like, It's time to duel. I'll challenge you to a duel. She would still do that. I still do that. You but... do that to our fucking cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I did like Pokemon too. Um. Mm. I don't I know. I loved Pokemon growing up. Probably when I was really little it was Pokemon, and then when mm. I got a few years older it was Yu-Gi-Oh. Did you own a dual disc? No, because I was poor. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for one for Christmas. Are those the things that you put on your arm? Yeah. yeah those looked cool. I always thought those looked cool. No, because I was poor. Nice. So Shout out. By night and Merry Christmas. Yo, Merry Christmas for Robotainment. Robotainment with the 13 months. Thank you. Prime game. Remember, Prime is free. Have you seen the movie Lady Bird? No. Have you? No. Shout outs to Dominic. Yo! Shout outs to my bud Dominic. 
cutting hair, playing trumpet. Wait, Dominic's singing songs. here? Is Dominic here? No. Yo, Dom, are you here? No. Old high school friend. We were in a band together. I haven't talked to him in years. Is it animated, Ladybird? Is it animated or is it like humans? Electra won't watch stuff if it's not animated. Just letting you know. No, I watch The Office and Golden Girls. And The Road. <laughs> Fuck The Road, man. Oh, man. Oh, you're talking about another Dominic. You're talking about your your friend's, yeah, your your friend's son. Yo, what up, brah? Enjoying your computer? Legit. She's talking about, you remember that kid that, mm -hmm. you know, what's up, dude? Uh, but, no, I thought we were talking about my bud Dominic. Oh, I watched Be Kind Rewind. Me and my brother rented that from Family Video in, like, 2010. We watched it, like, eight times. That was a great movie. I'm a Dominic. What's up, Tuzzy123? Tyler was in a band. You tell him about that. When you were in a band. Yeah, tell him about my band. Just any story you can think of from that time of my life. The, <laughs> the Matthews marching band. No, not the marching band. You know what I'm talking about. Tyler was in a Christian wedding band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I played saxophone, guitar, drums, bass. And I sang, depending on the song. Tyler was a, I was a wedding singer. I sang at weddings, you are correct. Fuck. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. Yeah. Tyler was a very good musician. Man, I miss it. I miss, I miss, I was a professional musician for years. Yeah. I think that's the only way you were able to woo me. Yeah? With your saxophone. Yeah. She fucking loved it, dude. Like, seriously. I look, okay. Girls kind of love the saxophone. It was weird. Like, a lot of people found it attractive when I played the saxophone. Remember, remember Jordan's girlfriend who just hit on me? Like, every time she was in our vicinity. Do you remember? And she had, like, that sign at that one gig we did at the church. I honestly didn't pay any attention to her. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. She had a sign? Yeah, Jordan's girlfriend did a sign that was like, We love you, Tyler, and she like held it up during a concert at that church before Y Night. Do you remember when we practiced and rehearsed for like six months for the Y Night show? And then that guy talked for four hours? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so here's here's a story. Tell them what Y Night is. What's Y Night? Y Night was great. Y Night is when they take a bunch of adolescents <laughs> and let them have a big sleepover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, what it was, was a bunch of adolescents, Christian youth. Nobody was Christian. Oh, no. Nobody was Christian. It was put together by a church, though. Um, and a bunch of high school and middle school kids. It wasn't at a church. It was at a Would go to a YMCA, YMCA. and it was a lock-in overnight. And it was from like. Explain what a YMCA is, because not everybody. Oh, knows. Um, it's like a it's like a rec center. It's like a publicly owned rec center where people can just go to exercise and, and swim and play sports and stuff. And so they have like this. It's like all indoors. It's an all. It's a big indoor thing, and you. The one that we went to had like this track that was actually over a, a basketball court. It had a big like Olympic sized swimming pool. It had racquetball courts. It had squash courts. Any sport you want to play. Any sport you can think of. It had a court for it indoors. It even had an indoor baseball field. So indoors. What it was was um, they locked a bunch of kids, like twelve to <laughs> seventeen year old kids, hundreds of them, in one of these rec recreation centers overnight with very few <laughs> supervisors. Um, and that's all it was. And it I was... I just remember almost drowning. Amazingly fun time. Looking back, it was super fun. But also looking back as an adult, I was scared. My mom said I was scared to leave him there. It was a bad idea. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. And I But the thing was, one of my friends like, molested you in the pool. Oh, oh my god, you just, oh. Remember that? I repressed that, thank you very much. <laughs> so, like. No, two dudes did. It was, like, so Electra and I, it was our first year together. Like, this was, 
20, it was 2011, wasn't it? So Electra and I started dating in August of 2011. It was 2011. Christmas 2011. It was Christmas 2011. We did our Y night, our first one. We went to two Y nights. The second one sucked. That was my fault. We'll talk about it. Um, but we went to the first Y night, and I was super excited because, like, a lot of my friends were there. Because, and then also we were hired. My Christian wedding band that I was in. Oh, God. Wow, that's cringy to say as an adult. My Christian wedding band. The Christian wedding band I was in. We were called Raising Change, by the way. Um, that's a pretty good name. It's a decent a name. name, yeah. Um, <laughs> we were hired to play a gig because there was this, like, long church thing that you had to sit through before you got to the fun part. Oh god, it was so bad. And it was, it's like three or four hours, but they the thing was they told us, okay, it's gonna be an, two hours long, and this band is gonna play a bunch of music, and we were the band, and we rehearsed three or four times a week for six months, and when the band started, we played a bunch of like fifties songs, like super easy fifties music, like Elvis and and Little Richard and stuff. But then we started getting into, like, contemporary Christian music, like Mercy Me and stuff like that. And it's complicated. It's not just, like, normal, like, four-chord rock stuff. It was complicated stuff. Like, I learned how to play guitar for one of these tracks. I had to learn how to play slide guitar for one of these tracks. I had to Remember what? I was playing drums. Okay, get to the point. We practiced for months. We put so much effort into this fucking concert. We rented out the best sound system, a smoke machine, lights. And before our band went on, they had a motivational speaker preacher guy <clears throat> be the opener and like hype people up. Mom, that guy yacked forever. <laughs> what ended up happening was we had two hours. This guy talked for an hour and 45 minutes. Am I exaggerating? I swear to God, it was longer than that. Is this guy took up the whole fucking time, to the point where the like, the band was like we were. It's like eleven people in this band, by the way, because we had a whole horn section. We were pissed, and then we finally go up, and they start like getting the kids out to go to the YMCA because they're about to lock the doors and we had time to maybe play two songs and what was funny is they act so by the way something that the they separate the kids in the church by the high schools that they go to because you sign up to go to this thing through your high school right and each high school has like a teacher or two come with the students to like supervise no, it's or whatever not teachers it was people in the church but remember how like you know they separated you by your high school right and so, like, the school we went to was called Matthews, and they, it was, like, the group of Matthews kids that, that was in our school, they actually held them back so that they could see us perform. And I remember I had practiced um, I'm a Believer by the Monkees, but we were really doing the Smash Mouth version. And I sang it, and I practiced for months. And I sang the song to an empty church and then like three pews in the back of the church filled by my <laughs> classmates. And they went nuts because they didn't know I could sing. I don't remember this. But it really, it really upset me. It really upset all of us because we worked our asses off for months. They paid us to be there. And then the next year when they're like, hey, do you want to do it again? Lenny, the guy in charge of our band was like, no. Absolutely okay, not. But I was there the year before, and the the preacher did not talk no, that long. I know. I like, know. oh my god, that was terrible. I just was like, you know what? Never mind. I just want to go home. <laughs> like, so like, this. So they hired us again for a second year, and they promised us it wouldn't happen again. It fucking happened again. Same guy. It just. They. It's like, oh, we promise it won't happen again. Bold faced lie. We got paid. But damn, that pisses me off. To this day, it pisses, like, I'm thinking about it like, fuck that guy. Okay, well, he's just passionate, Tyler. He was just talking bullshit about Jesus for two hours. <laughs> Who fucking cares? I'm, a, I'm an agnostic atheist or whatever. But even, yeah, Jesus, even Jesus would say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you have like 200 people watch and start singing? Nah. There's a video of me. Remember, there is a video of me singing somewhere in there. There's videos of the bands on Valve News Network that are unlisted. I'll find them one day. Oh no. my gosh, remember that 
video we found of a uh, English project for me about the bird. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. it's so bad. I wanted to show that on here. I remember... Could we do that? Oh, I don't know where it is. Remember, that guy hacked the computer and deleted, like, all of my old videos No, and it's stuff. on my flash drive. The green one? It would be in that thing above the... Right there. That little drawer. Top one. Yeah. By the way, we have to brack up your project. It would be on the top drawer. The top drawer. Stupid thing. Well, I mean, it's my organization. There it is. Let's see if it's on here. Oh, I thought it was on the Lego one. Oh, it might be on the Lego one. Look for that. It's no, it's not on this. It's on the Lego one. Where is it, Tyler? Did you lose it? Right there. Oh. Yeah. Hey. What? This is RAM. That is RAM! That's a broken piece of RAM that I still need to RMA. You're never going to RMA. No, I never will. You're right. Completely forgot I had it until just now. Don't show my files. Oh, yeah, it's here. It's here. Oh, God. Wait, which one is it? I don't know. There's two of them. One's called Keep and one's called Untitled. They're both from 2015. Okay, well, can you open it not on screen to well, see? Well, I can, I can mute here. Okay. And then they won't hear us. They won't hear the video. All right, it'll play over there. You ready? So we just found... No, you won't be able to see it because it's going to play on VLC on the other screen. You just see the... They see this in the top corner right there, but they can barely... All right, this one's called Keep. Yeah, that's it. No, 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 that's not it. That's my boring video. What the what frick? What the hell is this? Was that Kenny? Who no, was that? No, that was just some stock footage of a man. Oh, that's Obama. <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell is Why is this? Obama on there? Why is there bears fighting? This is a 15-minute video. Yeah, I made that video. It's just nature. There's no... Yeah, it's when I made that... Oh, my God. It's when I made that video about the ecosystems, Tyler. Okay, th I think yeah, this, this, this Oh is, my god. This okay, okay. Yeah. This was a school project that I did. I waited to the last freaking minute to do this. Like, I had a... So here's, here's something about Electra that she's not going to be happy that I share, but fuck it. I was in um, high school. I don't know what you're about to say, but I was in high school. Hold on. I got to capture the... That screen over there. Would it be... Oh, it's the 1080p monitor, yeah. Boop. So, something about Electra that she's not going to be happy that I'm sharing. So why are you If sharing? Electra doesn't care about a project or a class, she's going to fuck off about it and give me the work. What? So, whenever she had video projects and this... <laughs> oh yeah, video projects in high school, everybody went to you. Everybody. everybody. You know what? Let's tell that story. Let's tell this story. Literally. Like... 10 different people that I can think of off the top of my head at 15. Every time there was a video project, people would come to me. Some would pay me, like Matt or Garrett or Anthony. Others wouldn't. They did not pay Anthony you. Anthony didn't. Garrett they did not pay you. Garrett, Matt did. Matt did. Matt did. But everybody came to me to do their video projects. And, like, obviously, if Electra's gonna, you know ask me to do it i'm gonna do it because even at this point we were together for like four years i remember i remember little about this day and i remember just coming to you like tell her i have something to do tomorrow oh my god i haven't started yeah. it blah, blah, blah. what do we do what do we do and literally i it's mostly me that put this together whenever no here's the thing whenever somebody was like okay can you help me do my video <laughs> no, project no no, no 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 this is so simplistic you can't even <laughs> literally i think i just chose a poem or something yeah and I'm like, Tyler, I have to make a video about this. And then you're like, we'll just go outside and you read the poem. And I was like, no, that's too simple. That, I'm going to fail. Literally, it was that. just, let's go. And because at this point, I was still living with my parents. I was like, can you, we'll just go outside with a camera and just film the woods. And I was like. And then we'll come back with the footage and you'll voice it over. Because I, I was doing Valve News Network. It was 2015. I was doing Valve News Network as a job. and But then she's like, well, we need, like, somebody to act out part of the poem. And I'm like, fuck it. I'll it was, do it. This fuck was, it. I'll do it. <laughs> this video was done in probably... 45 minutes, maybe. No, probably less than that. JC's here. I knew you in late 2015. This was before I met... I met you when I was living in our first apartment. 
I was still at my parents' house. This was like spring 2015. This was before, this was, we, we moved out in November of 2015, but Electra was still in high school at this point. I was, it was. This was, was her last semester of high school. I was so. really stressed and this is what we came up with, okay. Do you wanna just show it? Last minute project, okay. Here's a last minute project. Yes, there is some VNN music being used. It's it, The music in the background of this is an unreleased Coldplay Wait, instrumental. Wait, I wanna hear. All right, here. Ew. You like said you want to hear. Ugh. All right, here we go. Oh God. As I move, I observe many of beautiful wings, and my eyes shift to see the brightest plumage be. The clever songbird sings to sing every ounce that daylight brings. Oh to bring joy to light and dark, dead. I hear him as he sings a song to me. As I begin to listen close, a hideous bird speaks to me. <laughs> I notice that your binoculars have never shown my way. <laughs> listen to my tune and make you be filled with the feeling of day. That was you singing? That beautiful tune I have followed my whole way? How can an elegant song come from such a dreadful sight as you? And I possess many talents that come from within. That is where the most valuable of things originate. Believe in that, and you shall succeed. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so bad. <laughs> it is not only fine feathers that make fine birds. Yeah, it's just the music fades out. So what did you think? What would you grade me if I turned that in? What did you get? <laughs> I don't know. Look up We Never Change Instrumental. It's the We Never Change Instrumental for Coldplay. Yeah. I don't understand how teachers sit through these. C plus. A minus. Not terrible. What? Man. You know, here's... Okay. Story time. You have something... It's probably from the headphones. Sorry. Here's a story. <clears throat> Most of the video projects were done through one class. One teacher assigned video projects like fucking crazy. And here's the secret. It's because of me. I fucked everybody over. Because what happened was, there was this teacher, we're gonna call her a very wise lady. Um, <clears throat> a very wise woman once assigned me a project and said in the project by the way this was her first year teaching i was her student in her first year as a teacher in the project description it said you need to interpret a poem any way you want i asked can i make a video this would have been 2013 2012 i valve news network was a thing already and i loved making videos so i made a video um Oh, you know what? I might have it. Can I show the very first video project I ever turned in? What is it? It's the magic video enhancer. <clears throat> Anyways, the uh, very first video project I ever turned in. I'm trying to think of what it is. She failed me on. I got a okay, zero here's, percent. Here's why. She'll be like, yeah, you can make a video, but he won't stick to the assignment. Like, he'll just make something random that has nothing to do with what you they're act, supposed to do. You act like I'm still a student. And he won't stick to the assignment. Oh, seriously, I remember- I would always try and push the boundaries as far as they could No, you wouldn't go. even- No, you wouldn't even consider the syllabus at all. Like, at all. The rubric or whatever. And I used to, t I was two years below him, and I was like, Tyler, you're gonna fail this. This there has it is. nothing oh to do. Oh my god, there it is. Okay, so <clears throat> this was the very first video project that this, this teacher ever got. 
And as soon as she got this, she failed me on it. She then gave me a second chance to make a, a video that followed the rules and then gave me an A. I then proceeded to make like 50 different videos for her class to the point where after I graduated, the school started offering a video production class where every week students had to submit video created content, which my, sm my youngest brother, Sean, took. And as examples, she still has and shows every video I ever made for this damn class. Not every. She shows off like most of them. So I thought I lost a lot of these files. And then Sean, my youngest brother, told me, Nah, dude, she has a folder marked Tyler that has all the stuff you made. And she'll show it once in a while to our students. And, um, real talk. I honestly thought some of them were a little lazy, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. But then what ended up happening was after I graduated, all my friends were a bit younger, like Garrett and Anthony and Matt and my cousin Kenny would come to me and be like, hey, can you make my video project? And I would always say yes. And we would always make weird shit. Like the time that me and Garrett made an exercise video. That, she, that he failed. That he failed with. That he she, failed. Hold on, she fails people? She still shows that exercise <laughs> video to kids. Maybe, you know that she maybe does. Maybe she's like, don't do this. And then she plays it. But here's the deal, I don't have those files anymore. They got deleted years ago, but Sean was like, nah, dude, she has all of them. And apparently he backed them up, like, his senior year. I need to still get them from him. No, there's one that me and my friend made, and we were supposed yeah, to be... Yeah, that's the teacher I think it is. Does he one, two, three? Do you go to Matthews? Listen, I'm talking. Sorry. Okay, so me and my friend, we... I don't know if anyone's ever read the book, The Fifth Wave. It's basically an alien apocalypse. And we made a video pretending that we were in the alien apocalypse. And she loved it. And the acting in it was oh so good. I hear like, about this all the time. We were, I, can't, I really want to find this video because our acting was so good. You would have thought you were watching MTV. Like, <laughs> that's like music, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you would have thought you were watching Netflix series because literally... I remember this kid, he was a really artistic kid. He he came in, he was so proud of his video. And they played his. And I then I went to school with Sean. This guy went to school with Sean. And then they played our video and the kid who was so proud of his was like, oh. <laughs> wait, 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 Was it the valedictorian kid that was like, no. oh? No. Not didn't. valedictorian, salutatorian. Yeah. Okay. And I just remember like they were like, oh, that was so good. Now I feel bad about mine. And I'm like, yeah, I should be an actress or something because it was so good. It was so, so good. What's funny is I was made fun of a lot as a, as a kid. In high school, I was weird. Like nobody really liked me, but everybody talked. I don't. Looking back, was I popular? No. What was I? I don't know. Like everybody was fine with me in high school. It was weird. And I, like, apparently have this massive, like, effect on the school where... Infamous. <laughs> yeah, I was infamous. I was Tyler McVicker. So, what's funny is, um, I don't think I've told this story. Remember Mr. Parent did the thing and, like, somebody wanted to do a report on VR and all my videos came up? Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, a teacher I never had but was fr I was friends with, and he used to tell us that we would never make it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> we ran into him at the grocery store not too long ago. And he's like, oh, you're still together. Sorry, guys. No, he used, he yelled at me in front of the whole class about dating you. And I was like... I'm gonna... Wait, what? Yeah. You've never told me this story. What? <sighs> so he was a history teacher, right? Yeah, and okay. he told... He's in the front of the whole class. He was like, he's too old for you. It was just... We're, lecturing. we're eight months apart, by the way. He's lecturing me in front of the whole class. So then after that day, I decided I would never, every year that goes by, I'm going to remind him. Yeah. Hey. And we run into him sometimes, and we still remind him, and he gets kind of uncomfortable. He's like, why are you going to tell him? I'm like, because you made fun of me. <laughs> Anyways, 
this teacher is obviously still a teacher because he was still quite maybe he should stick to history instead of guessing the future burn bacon bits with the burn anyways uh apparently um there was a student in his class they were like doing history projects and one kid was like i want to do the history of virtual reality um and he was like oh that sounds super cool and interesting do it and so they were helping they were helping him get sources because youtube is blocked on the internet in the school teachers have access to it though and so um they, this the kid was like well can i get like you know youtube documentaries youtube informational videos because it's more of a, a recent thing and he's like sure so mr parent the teacher and the student were sitting at a, a school a, a, his desk at the computer projecting the screen uh of the computer on the wall in the classroom like okay we're gonna find vr uh videos history of vr videos he types in vr history it's nothing but Valve News Network videos about the index. He doesn't... I don't think Mr. Parent at this point realizes that Valve News Network is Tyler McVicker. But they click on one, and they watch it, and he realizes, wait a minute, this is Tyler. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> wait a minute. Something not right. <laughs> and he went, wait. And he goes to the channel, he clicks on the about section, he's like, Valve News Network's Tyler McVicker goes to my Twitter, it's me, and he recognizes me, and he's like, um, he went to school here. I know him pretty well. He's the one that made the video class happen in the school. He's the one that they keep showing his projects for as examples, and the kids went crazy, because, like, two or three of the kids were like, wait, he's the TF2 guy. He's the CTF guy. And then immediately I realized, oh shit, this, this YouTube thing's a bit bigger than I expected. All right, now bring my ego down. Bring my ego down. I honestly think that your high school videos were not very good. No, they weren't. They were awful. They weren't good. We're going to watch one. They were not good. You did not get a good grade in this class, but you left your mark. Culturally. Um, what was funny, another funny story about that, and then we're going to watch the very first school project I ever did. Um, my brother, Sean, has a friend, Jake. They're going to room in college after COVID's over. They've been friends since, like, kindergarten. Um, Jake and Sean play games all the time together, and Jake, uh, Sean, we were at a family thing, like, over the summer, and Sean was like, hey, I want to get back into Team Fortress 2 because Jake's playing Team Fortress 2. Um, do you have any recommendations of what I should do? And I go, well, I mean, just play. It's fine. He goes, well, I don't want to play with all the hack bots and all the stuff that's going on. Jake's recommending this thing called creators.tf. Do you know if that's legitimate? And I'm like, oh, does Jake watch Valve News Network? And he goes, no, not really. And I go, um, yeah, creators.tf is great. You know that's my thing, right? And Sean's like, wait a minute, it's the because he went on the website and it looks super professional and official and like this is, this is you. I go, yeah, I pay for that. Yeah, I support that. Okay, show your video. Anyways, I impressed my brother for once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the very first video I ever made. I'm gonna let Electra listen to it because I think it's absolutely cringe. I don't remember it. Is it rolling? Please yeah, yeah, go. Stop that. Go. Go. Has this ever happened to you? You're walking along, and then all of a sudden... Stop. 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 Crap. This is total crap. Are you tired of seeing crappy videos like this? Are you tired of trying to show these videos to your friends and family and only getting this kind of reaction? Well, no more! With this, the Magic Video Enhancer! With the Magic Video Enhancer, you can... Make Cat fly. Make Cat an astronaut. Make Teenager fly. Here's some testimonials from our happy customers. Thanks to this product, I don't need to buy a blue screen. I can just make one with movie magic. All right. No explanation needed for this happy guy. All right. To order your magic video maker for 12 easy payments of $14.99. Good, good. 
Just dial 555-555, not a real number dot com. I got an F on that. Wait, what were you supposed to be doing, though? Convincing somebody. I was supposed to be like, you had to make a video or a project that was like using persuasive techniques. And so my thought was, okay, well, let's... What were you trying to persuade? Buy my product. I thought like it's a commercial. That's persuasion. But she didn't think so. I don't, I don't, I didn't even know what you're trying to sell, honestly. The magic video enhancer. So, story about Make Teenager Fly. There's a very small gag in that video called Make Teenager Fly. It's shitty green screen where me and my friend Joey held my brother up, Chris, over the green screen, and then we dropped him. He fractured his hip, and he still has a fucked up hip from he did it. Not fracture his he hip. has a fucked up hip because of that video. He didn't fracture. He his had to hip. go to physical therapy. <laughs> um, so Electra thinks those are horrible. I haven't seen that in years. Actually, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm gonna see if I have any of the old ones backed up. I mean, like, I don't know what you were supposed to be doing, but like. I mean, the beginning was a poor choice. The lighting, you should have filmed it somewhere else. That was the point. The beginning where I'm like, the crap video? It was supposed yeah. to look as crap as possible. Oh, okay. That was the point. Okay. I didn't, I didn't, um, oh, okay. I didn't understand that. All right, that. okay. You should have taken inspiration from that one dude who sells the choppers. <laughs> Vince? Yeah. I should have taken inspiration from Vince Offer? Yeah. I did a QVC video that I think is gone forever. Man, that's sad that so many of my videos are gone. Years of stuff that I made is just gone. That is so sad. He did bite off a hooker's tongue. Who? Yes, he did. Vince Offer, he bit off a hooker's tongue. Yeah. In Las Vegas, a hooker tried to stab him and he bit off her tongue. Wait, how did he have access to her tongue? Look, he bit off a hooker's tongue. That happened. Do you want to see his mugshot? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why not? Like, was she trying to stab? Like, how did he have... I'm confused. What happened to his face? He was very high. Oh no. This no. was the hooker, by the way. What went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? Something happened. Something happened. But he cleaned up. Is she okay? I have no Did idea. Did she clean up? I look I, I don't know. Man, is that QVC video? So, okay. What ended up happening was, oh, well, there's other school projects on here, but what ended up happening was um, she failed me on that project, let me make a second video, and the whole second video was about how she was wrong. And then I got an A. <laughs> I just remember you used to stress out about that class so much, and you used to call yeah. her names because she kept failing you on everything. Yeah. And I used to stick up, I used to be on her side, because I was like, Tyler, it's very clear why you're getting him back right here. No, but it's funny because in hindsight, I learned more about video editing and video production in that class than I did anywhere else, like in my life. Honors English. Honors English. Yeah. Yeah, that QVC video is gone. Did I ever upload it anywhere? I don't know. I don't even have the password to my original YouTube channel, which I think is hilarious. I know. I feel like English in high school, I feel like English teachers are always the nicest teachers. Don't you think? Yeah. The maxi sloosh. You hated your English teachers? No, I didn't I didn't hate my English teachers. I'm talking teachers. about the Josh Madden. I think that's what it says. 
Yeah, English and history really do have the best teachers. Hmm. And math has people with a god complex that want to ruin children's lives. What's that song? One tied Chris to a chair? Wait, what? What? What the hell are you talking about? What? <laughs> what? Crispy Steak says they had good teachers. Yeah, our math teachers were all around horrible. I feel like half of our teachers were abusive, straight out. Electra still has like almost like like trauma. No, I have trauma from being bullied by my teachers my junior year of high school. And that's not being dramatic, I really do. That's nuts. Which English teacher tied him to a chair? At Neil? That would have been... Was it Vitco or Sheridan? Or... Wait, is it an English teacher? In Neil English teacher. Neil Middle School, by the way. Here's a fun story. Um, our middle school experience, in hindsight, was like the perfect life. I don't know what it was, but um, our school... <clears throat> our school system... <laughs> what? My fourth grade math teacher was a dick. Our middle school was like a 114 year old building. Our school system is very, was very, very, very poor. Like very, very, very poor. They, the building we were in was so old, it was actually illegal to be teaching in. And they shut it down uh, my oh. freshman year of high school. But the thing is, everybody that I talked to that we went to school with, and Electra and myself look back at the time in that building, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, as just a beautiful. I don't know why. It's like a universal thing. Everybody's like, that was a beautiful time. That was. An I knew amazing it. Time. I knew it in the moment. Like this is gonna. This is the I best did part too. of my life. I did too. I like. There were points in sixth and seventh grade where I just kind of like had a moment of clarity where I was like, dude, enjoy it. Oh God, Sir Perry's here. Electra, when's your next Bionicle report? It was due two months ago. If you don't have it in by next week, you'll get an F. Hey, man, 100 bucks. That was really hard. That was the hardest paper I ever had to write. But, like... Why'd you just close that? I didn't close anything. I allowed a, a comment to be shown. Oh, I thought you I thought you uh, banned them or something. No. So, I don't know. It was just, like, this really old school with really weird teachers like looking back very weird teachers i can relate to that zan ganondorf math is an awesome topic that's dragged through the mud by poor yeah piston miner's here hey what's up Fry? how you doing <gasps> piston miner she loves your voice she loves your voice she talks about your voice constantly <laughs> and she's learning german i do duolingo can you speak any german for us Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. I know basic things like, um, hello and how to introduce myself. Say hello and Man, introduce yourself. woman. Say hello and introduce child. yourself. Child. Say hello and introduce no, yourself. No, I'm cartoffles. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that potatoes? Is that potatoes? Is that potatoes? <laughs> Yeah, that's a potato. Yes. <gasps> oh my god, I'm learning! I know stuff. <laughs> okay, know introduce stuff. yourself and say, like, just no, basic shit. I'm too nervous. Como estas? Me llamo, me llamo Tyler. Yeah, I know Spanish. I took it for four years. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> Soy muy... Gordo. Was Piston Miner proud that I knew what potatoes was? He just said something. What does that say? I don't know. Hang on, hang on. Fret mich das du mein steime interessant findest. Tyler, tell Santa story. I, I will! I don't know what that means. That was actually good Spanish. Soy gordo. Soy muy gordo. Soy muy guapo y gordo. Gordo means fat. Guapo means handsome. Somebody check si. that. 
See, I told I took seven years of Spanish, four in high school, three in college, and I don't know fucking Spanish. <laughs> See, like, I feel like I know every other word of stuff, but I can't make out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Electra, you can do just something in German. We have a native German speaker who's a very good friend of mine in chat who I, will support I knew, you. I knew what potatoes meant. I was proud of that. Like Kartoffel? Yeah. Well, see, it, the thing is I haven't even learned foods yet, so, like, I just knew that independently, because I haven't learned foods. Here you go. Ich finde deinen Neiman sehr cool Elektra. I think that is praise. It's, <laughs> I think it's a positive thing. I find it very cool, Elektra. I think your name is very cool, Elektra. Oh. Oh, yeah, name. name. That, I feel like that's pretty obvious. It's very close to the English word. <laughs> Apparently German and English are very similar. Papito or Who is the most handsome man? Christoph Waltz. There it is. I knew you'd say it. I knew you would say it. So Elektra has a massive, massive crush. Wait, let me pick the picture to show. Okay. I have a favorite picture of him. You have a favorite picture of him? Yeah. He's only 5'7"? I would have never guessed that. Okay. What's Wait, your you have picture? two remotes here. Not no, I know. What One's are, wireless, so I can reach it. What are these? Hmm, what is my favorite picture? There's this picture where he's smiling. Um. There's him eating a cheeseburger. <laughs> what the fuck? What the heck? Where's him smiling? He is. He's such a good actor, dude. Oh, oh my God, Christoph Waltz is an amazing. Look at him. Yeah, look at him. I think he's. He uh, was handsome as a boy. He's more attractive as an old man to me. I don't think he's... You don't think that's cute? I mean, he was cute, but I mean, like, he, he like, ripens with age, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, pick a picture. I can't find my favorite picture of him. Well, pick, pick a picture. He oh. looks good in all of these. I know, but how do you choose? Piston Miner, do you know who Christoph Waltz is? Because I know he's in a lot of German movies. Of course. Which one, Boo Bear? Put Christoph Waltz smiling. Hmm. Why isn't it my favorite picture showing up? What is your favorite picture, dude? I don't know. These are all very attractive. I don't know what exactly you're looking I for. I know, but there's some that just... Waltz is Austrian, not German. I know. Okay, I don't know. You have no idea who he is? Uh... That's good. Which one? This one's my favorite. That's your favorite picture? That's my favorite picture of him. Okay. This is Electra's hall pass. Good night. Good night, Mama. Tyler's Mama. He's so handsome. He has a big chin. Wow. Ty, gotta say good night. I'm pooped. Good night. He got the salt and pepper. Yeah, Electra is is, is massively attracted to him. I'm, but I'm not particularly in touch with the German celebrity culture, but I find the notion but I find the notion because I find the notion somewhat ridiculous. He's in Inglorious Bastards, he's in Django Unchained, he's in the latest he was a villain in one of the latest Bond movies. And he's trilingual. He's quadlingual. Quadlingual. Yeah. He's in a bunch of he's he he was in he was in um he was in Inglorious Bastards in Django. Yeah, he he came onto the scene because of Inglorious Bastards, where he played a Nazi. Hey, look! Someone said something to me in German, and I think it means die fet. That they love. I was about Lasagna. To say, I was about to say vagina. <laughs> lasagna. The fat orange cat loves lasagna. 
Hey, I'm gonna get some food. You take over for a minute. How, what food? I don't know, nice. Like I'm quick because you can't leave me stranded here. Someone donated in German, Tyler. Oh, it's Mr. Hunt. Oh no, he subscribed. I'm gonna make some content. That takes a long time! What's the best way to learn German? Someone tell me. But after the stream, I'm making some dinner because I'm starving. I have to translate this. Um, okay. Something about learning German. I don't know what you're talking about. Can we... Can we... Will you, uh, translate that? I don't even know if I can pronounce all of that. That's a lot. I haven't been learning for very long. Well, you're on and off with it. No, I just started it. I have a re I have- I really have to go considering it's 4 a.m. Have a nice evening and good night. Good luck with learning German. I was told the languages are a bit complicated. Aww. Love you, Pestan. Thank you. I'm too scared to speak, though. What do you mean? Go there and force yourself to learn the language. That's the that best. is the best way. Yeah. Honestly, I might. Because I would go anywhere but here. Yeah. I mean, that's not true. But I would go a lot of places so I could leave here. Uh -huh. I'd rather have a cookie. Um, ask questions because I don't know. Where, Where did you get your water Amazon. bottle? Amazon. Just look up gallon water bottle. You're yelling. That was really loud. I'm eating a cookie, a raisin oatmeal cookie. Gluten-free vegan. Nice. Yo, oh. cellular data 777. Thank you for the two-month Twitch Prime. Big pink cookie is very, very sweet. Lots and lots of sugar. Question soup. I love soup. No, what kind of soup? They are seriously censoring my cookie. <laughs> I love all kinds of soup. I like soup. My favorite soup right now, Daya. A vegan and vegetarian food brand started selling canned soup. They have this wild chicken and rice soup that's completely vegan. That's amazing. It is so damn good. Tomato soup and grilled cheese is a match made in heaven. Electra and I like to make vegan tomato soup and grilled cheese. Use a, a brand called Follow Your Heart. Or BioLife. I like follow your heart better. You don't know what you're talking about. This is a really salty one. Okay, so now that my mom's gone, <laughs> I can tell you my plan. What if she comes back? No, uh, she won't. So, every year I write my mom a letter um, where I talk about how much I love her and all that she's done for me throughout the year. And, you know, 
our relationship is kind of strange since they got divorced, my parents got divorced, and it's a very personal thing, and, and she really, really loves him. So, obviously, I'm doing that again this year. But I want to make a second letter written by you guys. So from this point forward, every donation and subscription TTS and bit donation TTS will be copied and compiled into a document that will be edited, printed out, and given to my mother as a present from the chat. So, donations, bits, and subscription TTS messages will be compiled on the Streamlabs thing, and after the stream, I'll go into my Streamlabs recent events and compile them all. Obviously, if you say something like, I want to do sexual things to you or something like that, I'm not going to put it on the fucking lit thing, but legitimately, you can say anything to my mom within reason. What if the donation is just... What if the donation is just gibberish? I'll put it in, but I'll put your name to it. Maybe they want what? that. John Madden, 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 John Madden. Our first one is just John Madden over and over again. John Madden, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden. This is gonna be fun. She's gonna get a great one, and you're fucking weird one. So let's do this. So throughout the rest of the stream, go ahead. How do I donate? You just add it to it. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. So exclamation point, donate in the chat. You can use Twitch Prime subs. Or, um... Uh, bits. So we're gonna keep talking now. We are gonna start playing, um... Jackbox Party Pack in a little bit. But, not yet. Oh, that's delicious! These are amazing. Yeah, these are really, really good. So how are you guys doing today? Oh yeah, it's... It's Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve day. Who the fuck cares, you know? Honestly, do you even care? I feel like I don't even celebrate Christmas. I just feel like it's something that happens to me. You, know, you, you don't celebrate Christmas. Christmas celebrates you. Like, I just... You know? I just go with it. Dad! I love flowers. Somebody said, I love anal. That's going on the list. She can handle that. What number of bits for TTS? I don't know. I think 500? Maybe 300? Remember the stream where we ha made you order a pineapple and ham pizza? What? I do. Poker's happy holidays. Love chat. Oh, that's a nice one. Your name and then the message, by the way. Hey, Tyler and Electra, I gotta go to a Christ party. Gonna nail a man. I really thought he was talking about sex for a second, yeah. and I was like, good for you. And then I was, oh, Jesus, right. Aren't these amazing? They're good. I've never nailed a man. Is it good? Is it fun? You've nailed a man. What's that like? <laughs> she's so pretty. Yeah, I know, isn't she? But she's also an incredibly nice, smart, talented, intelligent, disciplined, uh, funny individual. And she shouldn't be defined just by her looks, even though her looks are really good. Well, that's all they have to go off of. No, they know you're funny. We're eating these. They're really good. Best meme of the year was definitely Dab Train or Martin Lawrence fan. My favorite yes. is Martin Lawrence fan. Gaming clap. It was gonna be a shit show of a letter, but I knew it was going to be, and I'm very excited to give it to my mom. Um. I feel like we should give them some information about your mother so they can be more personal. Ask us questions about my mom. Yeah, let's talk about my mom. 
Like. I'll show the letter after. I won't show the letter beforehand. I'll show the letter after. Mm. I'll publish a copy of it. Like your mom what? loves really. You're adopted. You're adopted. Thanks for the ten. Your mom likes really disgusting Dutch food. <laughs> you take that one. Explain what the fuck that means. Ugh. Is your mom nice? Very. What? No. Hey Tyler and Electra. I just got back from a walk. It just started coming down here in Toronto, so we will have a very white Christmas. Yep. I hope you too have a very fun and cozy Christmas. And have lots of very Re passionate love making. Love you know him well. And lots of very passionate love making. Oh. I mean, we did that a little earlier, but. <laughs> you knew I would say it. What even classifies as Dutch food? Um, it's German. Meat and potatoes, kind of, it's like German kind it of stuff. German food. But unseasoned. Well, no, that's just- If I donate an Imgur link, will you put the image in the letter? Within reason, but yes. Pennsylvania Dutch food, that's what it's called here, okay. You love Pennsylvania Dutch food. No, these restaurants- It's she... the restaurants she goes to, they're very bland. They're supposed to be like Pennsylvania Dutch food. It's disgusting. Electra is Pennsylvania Dutch. Explain what kind of food that is. That's why I'm trying to learn German. That's why my grandparents spoke German. Also so she can speak to her dream man in his native tongue. Yeah. isn't German. Explain. Okay, so in German like the word German in German is similar to how English speakers refer to Dutch. Refer to Dutch. So it's really the Pennsylvania German but Americans call it the Pennsylvania Dutch. Because of Deutschland. Dutch. Yeah, because yeah. it's spelled yeah. And so dumbass Americans were like, oh, they're Dutch. Yeah. So, they're referred to as the Pennsylvania Dutch, but they're actually the Pennsylvania German. Yep. But that's just how it is. No one tries to fix it. No one oh, tries wow, to correct that's it. that's confusing. Yes, it is. Electra is what Dwight Schrute is. Yeah, that's where my family... It's so funny, because I watched that show, and I was like, he has such a weird culture, and then... When I was like, made my way through it, I was like, oh my god, he's Pennsylvania Dutch. <laughs> and then a lot of things made sense. Ugh. You can kind of make out what they're saying on the radio in Dutch, if you know German, but it sounds funny. So they're similar. That's interesting. Yeah. Tyler's Italian. Very. We were just talking about this. I'm hairy as all hell. Ugh. You really can't see it with this t-shirt, but like, you know, TOS. Um, Electra and I were in the shower, and she was commenting about how... I looked like one of those, like, Guido mob boss looking people that wear the, like, the deep cut v-necks and the gold chains and it's just, like, just so much fucking hair. And she said it was disgusting and that she hates me. And she didn't say that. I didn't say either of those things. Hey, I'm walking here. Hey. <laughs> that. <laughs> bang, bang. You fucking buffooking me? You motherfucker gonna come up up in here and talk about my mother? My fucking mother? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you and your fucking big nose wife! Fuck you! <laughs> that kind of shit. And 
Japanese. Hey, I'll take the gabagool. Aren't you, I'll take the gabagool. Aren't you like part Japanese? I'm one eighth Japanese. He's one eighth Japanese. Mama, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. Come on, come on. You know me. You know. And it's not. I mean, those are my fucking favorite movies. The Sopranos. Oh my god. Nice. Yo. Valve news. Happy Valve news. Happy Valve news. Happy Valve news. Happy thirteen months. Thank you very much. What? Twenty bucks. Yo ho ho. Yo ho ho. That's going on the letter. Remember, everything you donate is going on a letter that my mom will receive for Christmas tomorrow. Wow. I am so craving. I am so craving. Um, a Beyond Burger right now. I want to make those. They're upstairs. But I also have salmon upstairs and I want to make that. I'm gonna try and make salmon by myself. Electric gets mad at me because I don't know how. She's like, you just put oil on it! You just put <laughs> oil on it! That's not all you do, but pretty much. You're telling me that the thing about love making is going to be seen by your mom? Correct. There's nothing secret between us and his mom. This is correct. This is correct, yeah. I told her about how my doctor switched my medication dosage, which caused my dick not to work for a while because I was getting used to it. I couldn't get any boners. And apparently that's a common side effect for SSRIs. Told my mom. Like, it was the first person I told. Mom, my weenie isn't working. <laughs> I woke up today and realized- Don't worry, my penis works again. We figure it out. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like my Christmas sweater? Yeah, does this Christmas sweater, or maybe even this t-shirt interest you? Or maybe even one of these, one of these face masks. Exclamation point t-shirt in the chat. You can buy some of this excellent Valve News Network themed merch. Remember, any donations, any subs, any bit messages will be put on a piece of paper uh. and give it to my mother tomorrow. Why don't you flip who made what? the... Yo. Happy Christmas, Tyler's mama from all the weird people who are watching your son making up a game to get famous Making on the up a game to get famous on the internet. Yeah, I made Half-Life Alex by my damn what? self. From DMND Dylan and IK72 Poggers. Ha <laughs> Thank you. Can I have a cookie? No. Okay. She does not like sharing her cookies. These are my cookies. Yeah. Show the image. It's Poggers. Okay. Yay! Show what image? Uh, they sent an image that I have to put on the... <laughs> what the fuck, guys? I turned myself into a pickle, Lek. I'm Pickle VNN. Yeah, exclamation point, donate the chat if you want to be able to send my mom a message on Christmas. Her mother's first name is Eliza. A-L-I-Z-A. Eliza Vazano. Well, that was her mom's, her dad's, or no, that was her, where did that name come from? Fuck, but she's gonna get mad at me, I don't remember. I know. Oh. Yeah. Ugh, my nose is itchy. Have you at any point in your life attempted to do a backflip? No. I have attempted to do a back handspring, unspotted, almost broke my freaking neck. <laughs> How old were you? Eight, maybe. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can do that. Hold on. We have a request here. Do you have to read something? Uh mm huh. -hmm. I got the VNN music here. <clears throat> I'll be right back. I have to powder my nose. So recently, Rick of Rick and Morty fame turned himself into a pickle, and to be honest, it's the funniest shit I have ever seen. Hope that was worth it. An electro just leave to do cocaine? I don't know, you tell me. Appreciate you, no problem. I think she just went to piss. No. Did you just go to piss or fix your makeup? No. Did you just do cocaine? No, I had to change my tampon. Okay. I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. <laughs> TMI. Women don't piss? <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. Mmm. She's a master, I've seen it. She can get the thing out without even touching it. Just goes, and then she goes, Wip! and then she's done. I don't even know. You ever those. seen a woman just stand, want to take it out a tampon without hands? She's being like, Meh! and it just falls out. You've seen it's women a, do that? I've seen you do that. I don't Amazing. even wear them. I'm kidding. <laughs> Tactical tampon reloading. Women don't exist. It's true. Watch, I can push my hand right through. How you call her Lek? Does she call you Lur? <laughs> Does she call me Lur? Lur? Electra's three syllables. Tyler's two. Lek is easier. Electra. I have called her Lek for years. You couldn't tell if it spilled into the sweater? Who's handsomer, me or Electra? Give a handsome face. I'm very handsome. You Tyler. tell her, Ricker. Hey, Reno, can I get the rest of the money for the hard drive, please? He, he does it every time Tyler. I ask. <laughs> Isn't that the guy that works at the... No! Oh, my God, I can't keep these people. Wait, <laughs> he does insulation, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh, you didn't even give us the deets on your insulation. What the heck? If you jump into your insulation, will it give you micro abrasions or whatever? <laughs> Will you get a rash on your back? Reno, don't you want to send a message to my mom for $155? Tyler, leave him alone. <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> wait, wait, you'll get micro abrasions? Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, have Reno call in and do an insulation Q&A. You want to do that? Oh, I'm nervous. We never talked about why I disappeared. Go ahead. That's, this is all you. You have to explain it. Well, if Reno wants to talk to us, he can talk what? to us. But no. Hey, Elisa, in your great granddad back from the grave to give you an important message. <laughs> Make sure to get at least eight hours of sleep every night and treat yourself to chalky milk from time to time. <laughs> but don't eat too much or else you'll get a tummy ache. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. That's a good one. Thank you. You know him well. Wait. You explain. Why were you gone? Actually, um... Not yet. I need a few minutes. What do you mean you need a few minutes? Um, because I remember, and we we're—you know how we were talking about um, our schools being old. Do you remember when the ceiling caved in? <laughs> do you remember? I remember my sophomore year, so you would have been a senior. The ceiling caved in in my math class, and everyone just looked at it. Everyone just looked sorry, at it like, sorry, sorry. like this, and just like went about their work. <laughs> and then someone was like, "We're just gonna ignore that." And someone was like, "What is it? Asbestos? Is that what it is?" Mm -hmm. Oh God! And then they were like, "It's not even ceiling. It's asbestos." 
Yeah, so these old buildings were absolutely chock fucking full of asbestos. And we would like peel it off because like the walls would like be open and you could see the insulation and kids would just, especially in the locker rooms. Um, and then there was like the secret basement and then the secret basements to the basement. Do you know what I'm talking oh. about? Like, oh, like there was this one time me and Natalie, um, the good Natalie that studies math in, in Columbus now, we were like in yearbook or something and we were like, you know what? What the fuck is down there? We were like in seventh grade. We went down there and we just explored for a while and then we got lost. Dude, there's so Because there was rumors. a fallout shelter down there. Like an old 50s fallout shelter underneath Neal Middle School and we found it. I'm down to talk with you anytime, but not in front of the stream. That's fair. Mm, free advertisement. What the fuck passes <laughs> as a school where you live? Um, a really old building. <laughs> it's like 114 years old. Um, yeah, it was it was insane. But there was ever, there was always like spooky stories about like what's down there and a fallout shelter. Ghost and straight up a fallout shelter. I know, but like people made ghost stories yeah. and stuff. And there's a bathroom right next to the stairs that went led down to it. I remember that. And, no one ever used that it was, bathroom. It was the girls' bathroom. Yeah. We were so yeah. scared to use that bathroom. Like you go in there, no one was ever in there. Like ever. Like people, we were terrified. Oh, Beerus is back. Don't show your butthole. <laughs> TOS. No, yeah. Uh, we went in the fallout shelter and it was decrepit and unkept and stuff, so it wouldn't have worked People anymore. said there's a swimming pool down there, too. Yeah, there was. No, yes, there is. Everything was down in the ground. No, because back in, like, the 70s, before they shut down, like, half of the building, the bottom floor had classes. And there was a there was a swimming pool that was completely drained and like filled. Oh my god, super weird. That school is super weird. It was so fun though. And it was the best time. It was the best time. I can't even explain times. it. I don't know Dude. why it was so fun, but it just was. Because they let us be kids. They I feel did. Like. They did. They did. Here's a fun yeah. story from middle school. Our sixth grade. Um, our sixth grade English teacher used to let us make video projects. And me... Wait, who? Sheridan. Oh. Me and Maddie and Kelly and Dominic and Quentin, like, formed that little... Gr oh, my God. So much fucking hair, Beerus. <laughs> what the fuck? You can see that on stream, right? I lifted my hand and it went everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't breathe in. So we used to pull this prank on our teacher... Eighth grade. Uh, oh my sixth, god! Yeah, sixth grade Eng uh, English teacher, where my friend Maddie would take maxi pads, draw smiley faces on them, and hide them in the room. And she was so down for this joke that she kept one of them, like till the end of the year, and showed us. But like, she used to draw like faces on these maxi pads and like stick them on the chalkboard or stick them under her desk. I don't know. She loved us. That was fun back then. Do you know what? Do you remember the last stream I did with you and we were talking about, like, how someone put, like, a used tampon in my locker with notes around it? Oh, God. And then we were just, like, telling a bunch of stories, and then we both looked at each other and we were like, was I bullied? Yeah, you were you bullied. You were bullied. You were bullied. Yeah. <laughs> so, we've talked about this before, but there was this friend group I had uh, sophomore year of high school. You were in eighth grade, and eighth grade moved into the high school. They crammed like seven grades into a school that was not meant for it. Um, because Neil was illegal to teach at at that point. And our middle school. Our middle school, because it was so old. And what ended up happening was um, this friend group had this girl in it who was like madly in love with me, and I was oblivious to it. And I was dating her, and they like tried to push her out of the friend group like violently like they just treated you awfully and I didn't really understand it like at the time because I was a dumbass and like I remember I like set up it was like our six months right and I set up this nice thing and I told Marcus about it who was in the friend oh, group Oh yeah. and then they all show up and I get excited because it's like, oh, friends, you want to play Minecraft? Yeah, they crashed it. No. They were, like, purposely crashing it. But, like, whatever. I feel like they didn't really bother me that much. 
I mean, the, putting the used tampon in my locker with a bunch of, like, bully notes are wrapped around it yeah. is kind of like... I feel like I was a little upset about that. But everything else didn't really bother me. You okay? You wish. Did you guys hear that meow? That little coo? You would say something. Oh my goodness! I think Beerus wants us to go to bed. <laughs> I had stuff where I didn't realize I was being bullied until years later because I had no Damn, social awareness. Damn, the fuck high school did you go to? My high school is baby mode compared to you guys. Dude, we have so many stories that we just can't think of, but I know that our life was crazy. Like, it's only very recently gotten calm, like this last year, but everything from, like, middle school until last year was just insane. Wait. Why did Electra disappear for a while? I feel like we should have said that at the beginning, right? Yeah. Why'd you disappear, How, right? When was my last stream with you? January or February. It was early this year. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna need you to help me narrate this. That's fine, but you need to direct it. Uh, I'd rather you direct it. Mm -mm. Why? Because we're working on this. This is part of the problem. <sighs> Go ahead. Talk for yourself. I just really don't know how to say it. Um, basically, at the beginning... Oh, no, no. At the end of last year... I was working, well, all of last year, I was working for children's services. I have a degree, and I was working, you know, in the field. And, um, I hated it very broadly. <laughs> and, um... And then at the same time, I was put on a second um, epilepsy medication and so I literally wanted to die like literally wanted to die so she was legitimately suicidal yeah um and I mean like I laid on the couch for like two weeks without like getting up I don't even know I don't even remember getting up to pee like obviously I did but um but yeah so I quit my job at Children's Services. Changed her entire career path. And, um... Found a passion in life. Found a hobby. So the first half of this year, like, I literally... Not first half. First quarter. No, I say first half. First half of this year, I literally wanted to die. I was never in worse mental health in my entire life. Like, my situation wasn't even really that bad. Like, I've had worse situations... Cleveland job but I've had worse situations but like my mental health has wasn't as bad as it was at the beginning they're just of this piling year. up on her so then the second half of the year I'm like the happiest I've been since I was a child so I don't know what the heck happened how do you go from that to that so you're not quick. willing to talk about why are you um not really you can't even like just hang on let me um okay. read the comments real quick yep um, so, bye, Beerus. So yeah, I I um, and a lot of it is like social phobia. Explain what that's like. Explain what that is. Yeah. Um, I probably had this my whole life, but it got really bad. Like, tell them about a few days before my first seizure. My first grand mal seizure. Well, <clears throat> okay, so this was November of 2018. And at that time, for months, she wasn't employed at this point. I was in school. She, I was, she was a student. I was in my last semester of undergrad. And she was either stressing out about assignments to the point of frequent breakdowns like, tearful, almost violent breakdowns. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Now, hold on. 
And then the other half of the time, she was just in bed watching anime for days on end. And mixed in with that was this paranoia that showed itself, it manifested itself in this repeated mantra of, I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here. And it got worse and worse. And then the day of her seizure, she came to me. No, two days before I started freaking out because I didn't want to go. I didn't want to see anyone for Thanksgiving. It was like the idea of seeing people, seeing my family in particular, at a family event was like ungodly terrifying to her. Um. And so she was so upset about this. She was so... I just remember, like, walking in a circle and telling her, like, telling you, I'm not, I can't see anyone. Yeah, I in can't the front see room. Anyone. I can't yeah. see anyone. I can't go. My dumbass went, okay, let's get out of the house and go somewhere to clear your head. And because of that... No, she... that was two days later. Oh, well. Two days later. I mean, you were pacing around freaking out about well, this yeah, the but whole like, time. I started freaking out not wanting to be around people. Mm -hmm. Like, just having anxiety. When I don't normally have anxiety, you know what I mean? Before that, but then you did for a while. But then I started, like... Yeah. I don't know, just tell them about... That's where... I think that's when the social avoidance started. It was two days before my first seizure. It's like I knew. Like There's a video of her on her birthday in October, about a month before the seizure, where it was her 21st birthday and we go to this Mexican restaurant. She gets this big-ass margarita. That was I, made wrong. That was made wrong, yeah. <laughs> it was so much more alcohol than anything. And I thought it would be funny to like take a video of her like drunk for the first time, right? I wasn't even drunk. And she straight up says in the video, Tyler, I think I'm going to have a seizure. I'm going to have a seizure. And she says it like three or four times. We didn't, I didn't think of anything, I, and I forgot about it, and, yeah. And then I had a seizure. Full-on grand mall, pissed herself, seizure. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and, um... Well, like, my main symptom was, um, deja vu. Mm hmm I hate when anyone says that word. Mm-hmm. Because before you have a seizure, you get, well, you can get, um, really bad deja vu. And I'm like, okay, everyone has experienced deja vu. But imagine experiencing deja vu for an entire day on end. It is so anxiety. <sighs> because you really think, okay, I've done this before. I'm living out my whole day. Like, I've been here. Like, I've done this before. And then you just keep trying to do things different so that you can get rid of the deja vu. But then you you drives you insane because you're like, I'm stuck. I'm going to be stuck here. I've, I've lived this day before for hours and hours on end. It literally drives you mad. So, like, I don't know what I was like that day. I just remember feeling that. Well, you were just out of I don't know it. what you I were was difficult, telling you. You were difficult to talk to. You were very... Uh, spacey and not there and I just kind of had to like direct you around but <clears throat> following the seizure she slowly developed severe social anxiety but to the point where it's it's considered social phobia um I wouldn't even call it anxiety it's just this like she is it's just like agoraphobic avoidant. like avoidant um, and one of the reasons why she disappeared is because she was so socially phobic, she didn't even want to see you guys. She was afraid. And she was afraid before this stream. She didn't want to do it. I think, no. it's, I think it's healthy that you are doing it. Um, but this is a pretty severe problem that has been going on for a while. And even though she's no longer suicidal... She's actually the happiest she's been 
consistently for like the last seven months at this point. Yeah. Um, due to a couple of things that I guess she's not wanting to talk about. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're good things. Yeah. When people say they don't want to talk about something, it's usually a bad thing. It's like, oh, she's doing drugs or it's no, good it's things. it's yeah. She found an outlet, and it's a very large passion of hers that she wants to talk about all the time. And it is a major part of both of our lives. Um, and one day, she'll be willing to talk about it. And we will be wanting your support. So you'll hear about it when, when she's ready to talk about it. But um, for the time being, she's good. She's okay. The social phobia problem is still here. Can we guess? I mean, you can try, but we're not going to acknowledge it. I'm, I think agoraphobia is really bad. I'm afraid to leave the house on the my own. The pandemic hasn't helped. Yeah. I, I feel like the pandemic has only um, enabled, <laughs> enabled it. This was not caused by the pandemic. She was always like this. Uh, but having the excuse of, well, I don't want to get COVID to avoid family gatherings. Yeah. I'm gonna guess painting. You got it. <laughs> when I was in high school, in middle school, I was really good at drawing. Hmm. I remember my art teacher was always like, saying I should consider art school and stuff. But that stuff's hard, and I wasn't really interested in doing it. The I was only thing that I it. dislike about the only thing I dislike when it comes to art, she's not pregonte. No. <laughs> um, You're going to art school, that's awesome. It just seems like, at least in the American school system, that we devalue any kind of creative field. And we, like, convince children that you need to be some kind of STEM field or you're not going to make any money. I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. Are you two having a decent day? Yeah, actually, yeah. We've spent the whole day together alone. <laughs> Which is most of our days now, but... I mean, look, I've heard a lot of horror stories about couples going through the quarantine and falling apart. Uh, I think our relationship has gotten stronger. I mean, we've had a few little bips and ups and downs and stuff, but we've grown. You know what I mean? What do you think? Um... See, the joke would be to say, what are you talking about? I hate you now. <laughs> um, three... Two, one game time said something about how they were going to community college for um, computer science and they're not passionate about it. Quit. Change. I was in computer science for three years. Here's a mistake. Don't Quit. don't be afraid to change. Like even if you think that your family members or something are gonna judge you and think you're like can't make up your mind or whatever you you're a quitter or whatever they th change mm -hmm. like don't you're wasting time like don't let yourself be miserable preach completely agree with that yeah absolutely okay so uh we're gonna play some jackbox oh yeah wow was that a fairy tale yeah <laughs> The offer of any donations, bits, or subscriptions getting put into the letter given to my mother for a Christmas present tomorrow is still live and will be live through the entirety of the stream. So let's get this going. All right, we're going to start with Jackbox Party Pack 7. Let me turn off. Mr. Coder White, what did you go to college for? Can we do fun ones and not like... We can try. What is that one? I don't even know what I'm trying to think of. Which one? We're gonna start simple and do Quiplash 3. Balloons! This is very bright. 
Wow. What's the room code? We haven't started. All right, let's. Technology. YouTube and Twitch would be my dream job, but you know that would never happen. Don't tell yourself that, man. People told me that growing up. Stick with it. You can do it. Wow, of all the possibilities of the little shapes you can choose, and you chose poop. I can't choose, Tyler. Which one do you think I want? The cactus. Wait, it didn't go. That's because somebody else probably took it. No. They wouldn't do that to me. They wouldn't? No. You know what I really want to do? I want to... I don't want it to be my main career, but I want to do voice acting for yeah. fun. Tell them about I want to do voice acting so bad, but I feel like I don't even have a good voice. And I just, I don't know. I doubt myself. All right. Aw, they didn't get it fast enough. Put in this room code to play. N J B F. Hey, other people want to be voice actors too. All right, we're getting ready. Let's go. Hey, you ready? What are we playing? Quiplash. Quiplash three. <coughs> Quiplash three. The one with the words. Some call me Schmitty, but that's the doctor's name. I'm Schmitty's monster. Is this and trivia? The no. Game, the it's flash. You've played this thousands of times. I know, but I get them all confused. It's the prequel to round two, round one. You'll get two prompts on your device to answer any way you please. You'll you okay? To head with another player's are you sure? You're not? Looks like you're in an aura. Are you in an aura? No. You are. No, I'm not. Look at me. Are you in an aura right now? No. Stop it! I'm trying to answer my questions. I don't like when you ask me that. I am making the funny jokes. You're making the funny jokes? Look, it's my iPad. Electra hates it. Oh, what's the name? You hate my iPad. Make up with it. 30 seconds. Mm. I couldn't think of the. Don't let me down. I couldn't think Didn't of the word. Didn't she accidentally crunch the iPad? My last iPad, <laughs> yes. <laughs> she destroyed my last the iPad. App, the name of the appointment scheduling app. It's choosing time. It's all clay-like. 
My second answer is really bad. You always say that. Yeah, well, I only have two seconds left. I couldn't think of the name of what I was trying to think of. Did you come up with it? No, I couldn't think of it, and I still don't know. Using a safety quip like a dummy? They won! DMND Dylan thinks both his answers are godly. A sure sign you're trapped in a horrible nightmare. You live in the US! Being a Valve reporter. It's real. Pick your favorite. It is a living nightmare. I can never escape. Valve both needs me and hates me. It's weird. Man, how do people remember that stuff about us? Like that I crushed your iPad. Oh, dude, people love recording stream together. Like, doing streams like this is the thing people ask about the most. Yeah, being a Valve, that's a good one. Next we have... The apartment lease says it's okay to have dogs, as long as they blank. As long as they be dead? Or actually anatomic... Oh, what? Or actually anatomically dogs? What the fuck does that mean? Is that your answer? <laughs> no! <laughs> You're up against, they can have dogs as long as they be dead. That's pretty funny. Well, last... As long as they are anatomically dogs. That's gonna win. It's me v you. <laughs> it's me v you, dude. It's me v you. You totally vouched for yourself, Of though. course I did! Why wouldn't I? All right, check you can't out. vouch for yourself. The title of a, the gritty, title of a gritty, gritty sequel to Goodnight Moon. Moon. Good night, piss. Good morning, son. Are you winning? <laughs> What's that mean? It's a meme. You know how memes are dumb? Well... They said it means no furries. How does it mean no furries? They're actually anatomically dogs. Oh, is that what it meant? It, it just means that, like, maybe they had some incidents. <laughs> what kind- what, what the fuck is going on in your head, Ganon? I don't know! Nobody ever checks into that hotel room, not since. Nobody ever checks into that hotel room, not since. The Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> <laughs> that time we put a, a kid in a coffin and peed. Oh my gosh, I freaking love... Nathan for you. <laughs> no, I mean, I love both of those things. I love the Avatar, Avatar yeah. and I love Nathan for you. But, I mean, come on. The Fire Nation is hacking. <laughs> come on. Oh. Yeah, that was my- it was a reference to that Nathan For You episode where they had an orgy. Yeah. yeah. That was is, nuts. You know you're rich when you have a room just for blank. Shitting! Toilet. There, yep, yep, that's the good one. I like that answer. Which one? Toilet. Oh, uh, yours is your body- Are you vouching for yourself again?! No, my both ans- both of my answers have been up. The Nathan For You and the Be Dead. You know you're rich when you have a room for toilet! Listen, Tyler, that's not even what happened. They didn't pee. What did your thing say? They put a kid in a coffin and peed, but I didn't have enough for orgy. They didn't pee. <gasps> I lost all together? Yeah. That's a quiplash. Next. A shit! Name if your first name is Dick. Dick shits. Yeah. Dick penis is like you didn't even try, but dick shits is hilarious. You already have a room for a toilet. That's what we rich. Felix, why are you yelling? What's wrong? Why is he looking at us like that? He wants something. Yeah, dick shits is a great one. Okay, what's next? What's the worst sound to hear when shaking a Christmas present? Someone screaming. Moans. And now oh. it's time to vote for your favorite. I don't know. Pyrrhus. Is your bowl empty or something? It seems like it. See, that's a terrible Damn, feeling. Damn, Quiplash got great! 
I think we should play a different game. We will. <laughs> See, both my answers won. You were right. Round one. Let's take a peek at those scores, shall we? I'm in last place and I know it. Let's see. Se nope. I'm in second. Smelly Pee Pee is losing. I'll make a comeback. I hope so because it's okay. for you. Some of I believe in you. <gasps> the one where you give um presentations? Yeah. You can't do that on a stream. Oh, that's so fun. That's what I was trying to think of earlier though. I've just played this game so many times that I'm not really into it anymore. Well, play something else. You're being such a party pooper. No, we gotta finish this. No, we are gonna finish this, but you're being a party pooper. Which is the one where you give presentations. That's what someone asked. I forget what it's called, but it's in this pack and it doesn't work for streams. Um... Time's almost done. Save your bacon with a safety quip. Save your bacon? Oh no! Let's take a peek, shall I we? I panicked again! Stop panicking! Kicking things off. Did you see they're having a sale on that off, off, off brand perfume? Blank? Good smell. It smells like poo gas. Okay, show some love. Good smell. It's funny. It smells like poo gas. Eww. Yeah, the presentation one is so good. Ooh, it's half and half. Did you vote for smells like poo gas? No. Okay. Should I have? I should have no. voted for Coolman. Why Twitter block me? Why Twitter block me? <laughs> I don't know. Those are both good. How to spray tan without public knowing? <laughs> Why are you crying? I voted for Gabe. And now, Here is no. A comment, a comment that would have offended you ten years ago, but now you, you don't give a shit. Come here, Beerus. You fat, you smell, you greasy. All right, Percy is the worst time. train. Here, I hang he What? I I'm a mother. <laughs> okay. Uh she's doing mother things. Come here, You back. Let's see the next one. A nickname for marijuana that never really caught on. Oh my god, this cat. Marijuana too. All right, vote for the one you like best. Did he come back? No. A nickname for marijuana that never really caught on. Marijuana too. I thought it meant like before marijuana. I realize I uh, <laughs> interpreted this question completely Wait, wrong. Wait, is marijuana too yours? No, I. <laughs> you put cigars. <laughs> that doesn't even what? I know I interpreted this question. Now that I come back and I sit down and reread it, I'm like, oh. 
Next marijuana too. <laughs> the scientist was probably hungry when they named the bird they discovered blank. The great tit. Okay, Fortnite bird girl. Um, I don't know. One's a Fortnite reference, and one's just... I don't know. You don't seem very happy with I'm that. not happy with either answers, but you know what, I can't even judge because um, my answers are terrible as well. Tied. Well, except for the audience. What are you doing? Playing Fallout Shelter. The one thing that will always make a Buckingham Palace guard crack a smile. Farts in first. <laughs> Tactical <laughs> tampon reload. That's pretty funny. That's some stand up comedian stuff right there. We're bringing it back around. We're referencing the old material. I told you I was going to say <laughs> The it. people that weren't here for it. The yeah, tactical tampon reloads, that's great. Next one up. In the, In the res... Sauce, Bob Ross's nickname, Bob Ross's nickname would have been... Le Robert of Happy Tree Little Treeland. Bob DeRoss. Okay, so one person tried and the other person did not try. It's kind of funny how much they did that. It's kind of funny how much they didn't try, though. Next up. A good sign you're slowly turning into a swirl. This is yours, okay. The okay, part. so that one's yours, because there's no way you would say that. Sucking my boyfriend's nuts even more. I have 10 seconds, okay? Your 10 second panic answer is nuts, nuts, nuts? Maybe you are. You're a squirrel right now. Guys, can we get some nuts, nuts, nuts in the chat, please? Let's Abstain. see how much nuts we can get in the chat. Oh. You voted for me! That's a better answer. You think so? I mean, I love getting my nuts sucked, but yeah, it's a better Round answer. Two is no more, but how did you score? I'm sorry, that was not intentional. <laughs> okay, Tyler. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh no! Oh god, you are in last place now. This is not good. I'm usually in the top three, okay? Are you? Yeah. I've even come up on top. Sometimes. I've never seen that happen. You have selective memory or something? You have selective memory. You <laughs> have. What are we doing? Uh, you got three, you got to put in three answers. Okay. Just a few seconds left. I'm 
Ready? Why did they only give you 30 characters? What did you have a problem with? I that? needed one extra character. A three step plan for escaping prison that's bound to fail! Wait, how many. Alright, people, it's voting time. Seduce guard. Sex guard. Steal guard clothes. A spoon, a biscuit, and a sock. Kill thyself. Ask to leave until they give in. These both suck. You can't just announce that. Are one of these yours? You can't just announce that, Tyler. Oh, God. I lost. I lost so bad. That's not a good answer. You just had to talk about sex. What the fuck did you mean? A spoon, a biscuit, and a sock? <laughs> Three signs you live next door to a mob boss. <laughs> Loud shits. He tells you he's a mob boss. Ga ba ghoul. Well, Drew Mecca deserves it, then. Oh, uh, three Gen Z milestones. Okay. Global economic shutdown. Climate-related disaster. Fortnite 2. <laughs> if you're gonna read one, you gotta read both. Communism 2, Electric Boogaloo. Three Bite Brownies. The loss of literacy. Oh, God. The Gabagool answer. The loss of oh. literacy is true. That's insanity, man. What are you doing? What was that? Nothing. Oh, so you read your own, and you laugh at your own, and then this per person... Can we play the game? Can we play the It's my stream. I can do what the fuck I want. Don't tell mom. Don't tell dad. Keep it between us, nephew. Oh my god. Poke em, joke em, smoke em. Private Tickle Club. Okay, well one of them's about molestation and the other one's funny, so... Did you write the molestation? Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, we were yeah. totally... We were wrong, I guess. We were the minority on right, that let's one. Let's Oh no. I lost big time. Second place ain't bad. I lost big, big time. I don't think I've ever come in last place before. Wait, you were in complete last? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Well, you kind of cheat, Tyler. You gotta be in it to win it. You you kind of cheat. That Gabagool one, though. Oh my god. Alright, let's play something else. Alright, what other games are on here? I've only played that one and the Talking Points one. The Devils. I don't get Gabagool and I feel so lost. Alright, we're gonna play this one. Champed Up. Explain what Gabagool is. It's a type of like cold, thinly sliced deli meat. Mm. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna play this Champed Up one. Are you gonna cheat? Uh, yes. Is this like Neopets? Yeah. Someone said Tico is the best. What's that? I don't know. I've not played this. My nose is dry.
right here. Oh, I don't know what I want to be. Are you logged in, though? That one looks like an anime character. Well, pick a character. I don't know. How's everybody feeling? We're doing all right. All right. There you go. Remember, guys, any donations, bits, or subscriptions are going to be put into a letter and given to my mother tomorrow for a Christmas present. You see who am I? I'm the cone head. All right. I've never played this one, so we got to listen to the... Uh, People really wanted us to play this. Welcome to the Swallowseum. <gasps> These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual All right, you skills. listen and you just tell me, you just tell me how to play it after. I'm the zone out now. Okay. Champed up. Champed up. First step, the trainers will be prompted to draw and name a particular type of champion character. They'll be equipped with two tools. Are you listening? Pen for drawing I can't draw that. For coloring in. Once a character is drawn and named, it can be submitted. The timer's been set. Off we go. Well, Little spritz. I don't know. I can barely hear what he's saying. All right, you need to create a champion and then name it. Twenty seconds. Only two people are in. There's twenty seconds. Uh oh. You have to hit submit. I'm not proud of the work I've done here today. To creating a challenger. Create a challenger. These will be the underdogs because their creators will see who they're competing against, but not what the contest will be. So they must analyze their opponent's unique skill set to create what they hope is a worthy challenger. Let's see the drama unfold. Okay, challenger to the original. Oh. 
Analyze your opponent and create a challenger. Okay. Wow, this person really made something cute here. seconds remain players need to name their character oh my god my name is stupid oh I didn't push submit will it submit automatically I didn't submit my name it's time for the main event here comes our first opponent. Oh no, I didn't push submit. <laughs> Kenny, but with swag. Against Dale. Champions of the backwoods. Vote. Well, let's submit it if you didn't push submit. I don't know. Onto the mat. In this corner, we've got Tommy McFucks a lot. We'll decide once and for all who is the, champ the champion of fertility. Fun. I like this one better. I just hope they took mine because I didn't push a submit. The valve head guy. Wow, that's well done. Versus Gabe Newell's head. <laughs> Wait, why is yours different than mine? Oh, is one of those yours? Yeah. Which one's yours? You gave him his head. I lost a lot, because the Valve Head guy's done so well. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, you got sliced. Next up, it'll be... 
Knifey. Millie. Who the fuck is Millie? Oh, who's the creepiest? Who's the creepiest? Yeah. Oh, you're supposed to be voting off and based off of what there's. Yeah. Not just your favorite one. They tell oh. you who you're voting. Like, what's the what's the competition? Oh, I was just picking the coolest ones. That's mine. You named it Millie. I had seconds, okay. That's the one Millie. where. That's the one I didn't even had have time to submit. Okay. X X P boy X X X X P boy X X two two two. How did that happen? Uh, Seducing. Seducing Taft. He's got a poo poo butt. What am I doing with my life right now? Which one did you draw? None of them. Oh, okay. I drew Ew, one. he has poo butt. Oh, but poo butt won. I can't do the poo. I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for poo butt. The wrong person won. Exactly. Ooh, Average 4chan gamer. Guy, guys, it was just an edgy joke. Bad omens. Okay, I understand this game a lot more now because before I didn't listen to the instructions. You want to play again? Yeah. Okay. We'll play this one again and then we'll be done for tonight. Okay. Time slot. Snail mail. <gasps> Snail mail. Well, those are both good. Wait, so they, so they knew before? I didn't yeah. know I had a category. Yeah. I didn't read anything. <laughs> this game makes a lot more sense now. I was like, how do they have like the same mm -hmm. kind of theme? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. Super Say versus. Is that Monkey D. Luffy? Is that, wait, what is that supposed to be? It's the clash of the titans. What? That. That's Luffy. It's supposed to it's, be Luffy. So I saw it, I saw it Super Say, so I did a shitty Monkey D. Luffy drawing, <laughs> but I didn't have enough time. I wanted it to be called Man of One Piece, but it, like... I, that was me. I figured you were Goku. We faced each other in both competitions. Wow, well, I'm in second to last place. Alright. Ow. So at the top, you have the champion of blank. Oh! So then you draw... I didn't read that. Of course you didn't.
Why don't they have the color red? I don't... <laughs> I don't understand that much. Got my boy in! Oh no, I know we're near done. Spell check. We will see. All right, create a challenger. Now you see the challenger that you need to create. <laughs> oh, come on. This is like freaking Picasso drew this. Really? I ain't gonna win. I'm wasting time. Man, this is not letting me do much. Why don't they have the color red? It's time to name those characters. This is not gonna go well. Some of these people, I swear, you're which means it's they're on like drawing pads. Each matchup will include a surprise contest where players can tag out their characters. The bonus points are doubled, and votes for both contests will be cumulative. <laughs> Start things off with our first two fighters. <laughs> One of them will be the champion of the Wait, Astros. who is that? Well, Sherman has a purple hat, but then Sherman got run over. What a battle! They're evenly matched. What does that have to do with extroverts? I don't know. It's not over yet. Here's the next title up for grabs. Champion of embarrassing viral videos. Will the trainers keep their characters or swap out? Wait, what? It's anyone's fight. Why is it the same things from last time? Because you can switch them in. Oh. Why would you do that? So you did Sherman? I didn't draw any of that. Oh. You didn't draw that? No. Oh. Do I look like I can draw that? 
You will decide who is the champion of criminals. They're evenly matched. Hmm. Are they down for the count? Run over Sherman is clearly more extroverted. He goes outside. Yeah, but he got run over. Champion of political cartoons. The you can just keep him up. <laughs> Look how dramatic this is supposed to be. Wait, so if someone's dying, you can put in another mm -hmm. one? Campo, that's you. Campo Rooney, but Campo cooler. Campo Rooney Dooney. Campo Rooney, but cooler. Like, who? He is cooler. How do people draw? Damn, Campo Rooney Dooney getting fucking killed. Wow. Alright, now you can switch it in based on the champion of 2030. Which of your drawings is the best representation of the champion of 2030? Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> XX people are XX or Super Say. Super Say. Super Say is funny. It's Super Say for, um, what, what's it called? Copyright purposes. Yeah. You don't want to get DMCA. <laughs> I just redrew your thing but made it cooler. That's easy to do. Tina, Billy. Oh my god, that's terrifying. What? I would think this is like the exorcist. <laughs> I guess Billy is the champion of mansions. How does this have anything to do with mansions? I don't know. It all comes down to this next match. Champion of hunting humans well, you can keep sports. Tina in for that. Knifey. The <laughs> <Nice. laughs> this is so stupid. This is the dumbest game. It's very good, but it's the dumbest game. Who won? Coleman. Nothing can stop these two. Yikes. Here are the next two fighters. Oh my god. What the? One of them will be <laughs> the champion of monsters. <laughs> now this is a new duel. The core. We're witnessing greatness. Now they'll be battling for this title. The champion Why don't they have red? Lovers. I'm gonna write in. It's decision time. Gentle lovers. It's the clash of the titans. It's so weird. Ah, the arts of war. It's so weird that sometimes I forget that I have to like yeah. push something. I made fuck pumpkin, but I lost. By the way, I started drawing a mandarin, but then it turned into a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can erase or go back. Mm. I just went with it because it looked like a pumpkin. What? Oh wow! What the heck? Scary creatures! Oh my God! Yeah, spooky pisser. That is scary looking. Can you imagine if that just showed up in your room? Oh, he has a penis. <laughs> How did you not notice it? I was looking at his smile. <laughs> <laughs> this is the toughest fucking kick. <laughs> this is so dumb! <laughs> He's really flipping. <laughs> Tommy McFucks a lot. Damn. I thought the penis was a tie. Yeah, I didn't think much of it, but I realized it was just a dick and balls. Up next. Now it's time to 
determine the champion of <laughs> well. demise. What will the trainers do? <laughs> Dale versus <laughs> Dale versus Oh my god, that is so hilarious. A knife. Holy shit. I can't believe you just did a knife. <laughs> I'd stab the fuck out of Dale. Oh my gosh. I don't know why those pink dots are there. <laughs> oh my god. Let me see what you have. Sneaky Whoa, demon of death. A knife. <laughs> no! You liked my knife? That was great. That fucking killed me. Because the drawing was so good. So I was like, you know what? No one's going to kill this mother other than a knife. You're like, oh god, how do I get him against Vicasso? Well, Vicasso ain't immune to night. <laughs> Progressive child care. Okay. And they both left them in. Oh god. <laughs> Guys, it was just an edgy joke. I can't believe Dale got stabbed. That was funny, because it's just like this little- he looks like he's a construction worker or something. I don't know something. what the fuck Dale is supposed to be. That was so- that was probably oh, the funniest man, one. man, that was great. This, folks, is what a hero looks like. Wow. Is that what you your lip? <laughs> that was- that was okay, so folks, good. Was this is one of the best the games they've ever made. The final scores and... They show all their tr <laughs> Wow! Wait, they won? I came in third? I came in last! I came in dead third. last! Hey, you made fun of me because I was dead last last time, so I don't even feel oh bad for you. Oh my god, dead last! Oh, showing them. Champion of hunting humans for sport. Wow. That was amazing. The basement. I just want my knife to be on there. We're waiting for the knife. Wow, this is a great game. I don't know why, what made the knife better was that they sent Dale out. <laughs> Poor Dale. <laughs> There's Dale. The backwards. Hey, Dale. Wow, this is a great game. We've been streaming for- My knife! There's the knife. It's a dagger, really. We've been streaming for three hours, so I am gonna end it here. We're gonna talk for like five minutes to let you guys get your final messages in to my mom. Remember, exclamation point, donate in the chat. Any subscriptions, any bit donations will be compiled into a, a letter and given to my mom on Christmas morning tomorrow. Um, so get that stuff in. Ten minutes. We've also Christmas. got a hundred uh, and fifty-two dollars left until I can buy this new hard drive that I need. I'd really appreciate it. You don't have to, but exclamation point. Uh, what is it? Donate in the chat will let you do that. So, Electra, was this fun? Was it worth it? Uh, three, two, one. Game time says thanks for the advice you gave earlier. Uh, you're welcome. Um. <clears throat> Oh, wow. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Yeah, we'll try and enjoy our time, but, I mean, I'm going to be wearing a mask in my mom's driveway in the snow, opening my presents so that I don't get COVID, so. I hope Electra had a good time, especially after hearing of her situation earlier. Did you have a good time? Pretty much. Okay. Reno, thank you very much for the 40 gift subs and $100. You always spoil me. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, that. but they still haven't told you about it. Oh, the industrial stuff? Yeah, I'm in actually interested. Reno, can you give us uh, some tips just on like, how to insulate? Just one thing. Like just, one just, 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 just cool, like an like a insulation tech tip. Just one fun Reno's fact. Reno's insulation tips. 
Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. Don't breathe it in. Don't eat insulation. You know, if you hadn't told me that... Is it like pink insulation or is I it like... I would have eaten it. Or is it like foamy? What is it like? Jack's Films and Eddie Burback are online. Eh, I'd rather raid somebody with no views. I'll find someone. Again, e-bagging. I'd love the hard drive. Thanks, guys. What would happen if you ate it? You'd probably die. It looks like flat cotton. It's made of glass. Yeah, fiberglass. You know how many times he said that? Damn. And it does cost microfractions. Buy agent concealed. Looks like sealing cotton candy. It's bad for your organs. It's marshmallowy. Wall foam is not good for you. Wall foam just isn't good for you. Wait, what happens if you eat it? You won't die, will you? You'll get mesothelioma, maybe. Only eat the pink kind. Okay. Alright. Well, thank you everybody for today's stream. I love you guys. Um... <laughs> they put cotton candy in my walls? Yeah. Keeps you warm. Alright, we're gonna raid uh, this person playing TF2. Uh, they have 11 viewers, 13 viewers right now. Um, Go be nice to them, whoever so they are. So your raid, your raid code for today is... What? Oh, we got a $6 donation for something from my mom. Your raid code for today is... Meat? Question mark. No, Gabagool? Question mark? Gabagool. 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 Gabagool? Question mark. Gabagool? One word? Question mark. Gabagool? Question mark. Peace and hair grease. Merry Christmas.